Hello, Mama Momshies. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. I hope you can hear me. Hindi na ako nakapag-tech check. But, yeah, I'm very excited to uh, to start our uh, free webinar for today, no? So, long time no see. Um, every month natin to ginagawa para sa mga first time na maka-join. Hold on for a sec. I'm trying to fix my camera. There. Maya maya gising na yung baby ko. There you go. Okay, medyo kita lang yung kalat ng ref, but yeah. I hope everyone is doing fine. Walang sounds? No sounds? Okay. Let's see what happened here. Okay, can you let me know if there's sounds? No audio? Okay, that's a problem. Okay. May sound. Or, oh, oh my God, what happened to our camera? Okay, sorry about the technical issues. Okay. I guess it's uh, it's good na. According to the other moms. Hold on for a sec. Sorry, I'm just fixing it now kasi almost kakagising ko pa lang. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. There. Okay, so, okay, cool. So, I guess we're good. Uh, let me just pull up my, my camera. So, if you have uh, my, my, my presentation, so just let me know if you have questions about online jobs and we'll try to answer later, no? So, just few uh, house rules lang, right? So, um, if you can comment your questions, feel free to do so, but I'll try to answer na real time, pag hindi, we can answer it sa Q&A or sa last part ng, ng training, right? And then, another thing pala na gusto ko ding sabihin sa inyo is that this training will uh, will last um, hanggang four hours. Baka mag-extend, but we'll see. Because I wanted to cover all of the topics na gusto kong matutunan nyo ng isang bagsak, right? You can also watch other videos or other tutorial videos sa YouTube, but for this one, uh, baka feeling nyo, bitin pa kayo sa four hours. So, sobrang dami nyo matututunan. Okay? So, yeah. So, let me just share my slides here. So, um, may I know din kung sino-sino yung mga first-time mom, uh, work-at-home mom na na gustong mag-transition to another online job. For example, you're an online teacher and you wanted to find another virtual assistant job, something like that. Or if you are an OFW, and if you are an OFW, maybe you can tell us um, kung saan bansa naman kayo right now. So if uh, you are uh, a corporate mom, and maybe you're working from home right now because of COVID-19, no? maybe you can tell us uh, kung ano yung job nyo, right? And then another thing na gusto kong malaman is kung meron sa inyo dito sa group na mga single pa, something like that. So, those are the things na gusto kong malaman sa inyo, no? And then maybe you can share in the comment section ano naman yung mga struggles nyo so, uh, sa paghanap ng online job. So, maybe yung iba sa inyo hindi napapansin uh, ng mga clients or maybe yung iba naman sa inyo ay... Um, Matagal na nag-a-apply, pero hindi alam kung tama yung ginagawa. So, those are the things na gusto kong i-share nyo sa akin sa comment section para ma-make sure ko na uh, masagot ko kung ano man yung mga nasa isip niya right now. Alright? So, my presentation is ready. Hold on for a sec. Okay. I'm share it now. Okay, there you go. Okay, good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Share my screen. There. Let's make it bigger. Okay, all right. There you go. So I hope you can see my screen now. So, yeah. 
So for this webinar, ang pag-uusapan natin is number one, ano ang online job? Number two, ano yung mga kailangan natin para makapagsimula sa online job na to? And number three, paano mag-apply? Okay, so sobrang straightforward ng magiging discussion natin. Lahat ng to dapat masagot natin by the end of the day. Okay, so uh, gusto kong i-share sa inyo kung paano ako nagsalit, nagsimula mag-work from home. So galing ako sa call center. Pero bago yun, nag, uh, nag-crew muna ako sa isang fast food chain. So, kakapangan ako pa lang uh, noon, I remember, and then napilitan ako na mag-apply sa isang call center company dito sa BGC. And then, sadly, magkano lang yung sinasahod ko ang nauuwi ko lang sa akin sa na 7,000 pesos. Which is sobrang hirap kasi alam nyo naman yung expenses, nagre-rent pa kami noon. Before, nung bata pa ako, uh, tawag dito, kahit pa paano, medyo uh, may kaya kami kasi yung mom and dad ko, may mga business sila. Hagang sa magkaroon ng cancer yung mama ko and then nag-abroad siya nun for two years. Tapos na-bankrupt kami. Yung tinitirahan naming bahay na apartment na ubos na limas lahat ng savings namin. Tapos yung ultimo yung tinitirahan namin, kailangan na namin isang la and eventually ibenta yung bahay. So, uh, simula nun, uh, nagsikap na ako na maghanap ng trabaho para sa family, no? Hanggang sa mag, uh, lipat ako ng ibang kumpanya. So, as, an, as a CSR or a customer service representative, naging email support ako sa isang company na pinakalas company ko na na-corporate. No? And then, uh, naisip ko na mag-online mag job. Unang nag-online job nun si Habi. Uh, as email support din. Pero before, nag-online teaching na siya, nag-data entry. So, iba-iba na rin yung naging jobs niya. So, mas nauna siya sa akin nag-home base. Uh, pero, ano siya, on and off. Mag-home base, tapos mag-call center. Tapos, ako, nung nag-home ba base ako, I remember, nag-create ako ng account sa onlinejobs.ph. Tapos, nagulat ako kasi, tawag dito, after creating an account sa onlinejobs.ph, that's 12 midnight, 6 o'clock a.m., merong nag-message sa akin na foreign client. And um, yung client na yun, he's, he owns a, a tattoo shop in Canada. No? So, ang offer niya sa akin is 35000 per month during that time. That is 2017. Ako nag-start sa kanya. So, ang task ko lang is magsasagot ng mga emails from these customers no, na gustong magpatato. So, uh, sobrang ganda nung naging takbo. I remember, yung first interview ko sobrang kabado pa ako nun kasi wala naman akong experience online. Tapos, sobrang bait ni client. And then, yung mga questions niya sa akin, halos ginugal ko lang. Sorry, nagbe-burp pa ako, kakain ko lang. Ginugal, niya, ginugal ko lang din lahat ng mga interview questions ko. Tapos, nag-prepare ako kasi mayroong written exam. Pero yung written exam niya is more on situational lang na mga uh, sample emails na pwede kong ma-receive. So, pinag-aralan ko lang din yung mga artist nila, yung mga tattoo artist nila kasi merong visual test. So, parang kailangan ko identify yung tattoo versus dun sa kung anong klase na style. Something like that. So, nung nakapasok ako, so nung nakapasok si husband and then yung mga few na friends namin, Hanggang sa nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. And after a couple of months, nagtry naman ako ng virtual assistant na job. So, virtual assistant na job ko naman, iba't ibang clients yung nakatrabaho ko. Tapos, uh, ayan, meron e-commerce, meron akong data, entry na task din doon, photo and video editing, social media management. So, mamaya, malalaman nyo kung ano-ano yung mga yun. Pero, uh, naging virtual assistant ako, and then eventually, naging social media manager din ako. Uh, yung mga... Uh, task ko uh, usually ginagawa sa Facebook and then Instagram. Tapos, ito yung pinakalove ko sa lahat ng naging online job ko kasi napaka-flexible. And then usually, one to two hours lang yung inaalat ko na time. No? So, alright. So, I guess our audio is good naman na. So, because of my online job and pareho pa kaming online job ni Habi, no? Talagang na-enjoy namin yung family time, yung quality time namin with uh, our only son, syempre. And then dahil rin sa kinikita namin nakapagpakasal kami and then na, nakakasama namin yung pamilya namin sa lahat ng travel namin before COVID-19. And then we got a new house uh, sa may Batangas. 
So, sobrang laking bagay, blessings talaga yung pag-work from home namin sa sa pamilya, no? Actually, pati yung brother-in-law ko, working from home na din. So, sobrang nakakatawa. Hindi man matutumbasan kung ano man yung, uh, kung ano man yung benefits nito sa family namin right now. Especially ngayon na may COVID-19 tayo and then marami sa mga kababayan natin ang nawala ng work, no? So, uh, nakaka, kahit pa paano, eh, masasabi namin na maswerte pa rin kami compared sa iba nating mga kababayan na talagang walang-walang mahanap na pagkakakitaan, no? Kasi sobrang risky kung lalabas sa, kung lalabas at uh, magtatrabaho, no? Sa labas. So, yeah. Okay. So, let me proceed with our next slide. So, ayan. So, yung mga online jobs na sinasabi, no? It can be a voice account, a non-voice account, or a mixed account. So, pag sinabi nating voice account, ito yung mga online job na gagamit kayo ng, syempre, ng bosses. Ano yung mga example nito? No? So, ito yung online teaching. Pag sinabing online teaching, hindi lang ito limited sa pagtuturo ng mga bata. Uh, like Chinese, Korean... Uh, Japanese students, hindi lang yon, Kasi pwede rin kayo magturo ng mga mas, mas matatanda or matanda na, na businessman. For example, tuturuan sila mag-English, something like that. What's nice about this online teaching company is that nagbibigay naman sila ng script sa inyo and then meron din platform. Another voice account na pinakakilala, syempre, is similar with um, what you can do in a typical call center company. So, kung nagko-call sila doon sa online job din na voice account, nagko-calls din. So, pag nagko-calls kayo, usually yun yung i-require nila na kailangan may clear, ay may uh, background, walang background noise. Kailangan, tawag dito, may noise cancelling headset. So, same din with online teaching. So, yung mga voice account or voice jobs, usually yun yung nagre-require ng uh, headset. Okay po. And then for non-voice naman na jobs, ito yung mga jobs na actually pagdating sa non-voice jobs, sobrang dami. So for us, ang iniisip natin kapag non-voice, usually email and chat support agad. Lalo na sa mga call center agent. But if you will be working as, uh, as uh, online, uh, as, an, uh, as a freelancer, no, sobrang dami pang ibang non-voice jobs yung pwede mong maging trabaho. Photo and video editing is a non-voice job. Writing is a, is a non-voice job. Accounting and bookkeeping. E-commerce virtual assistant is also non-voice, especially mga tasks na ginagawa doon like product listing, product research, no? And uh, what else? Social media marketing and management is also non-voice. Uh, Try pa ako mag-isip ng iba pang non-voice. Later on, I'll give you a list of uh, the non-voice jobs and the voice jobs na pwede niyang i-check, okay? But for the voice job, yung dalawa na yun yung pinakamin. For non-voice jobs, sobrang dami. So what's nice about uh, this non-voice jobs, especially if you're a first-time mom, you're a breastfeeding mom, may newborn kayo and all that, or may mga baby dogs kayo, no? And uh, you don't want to get uh, a voice job for the reason na may mga health concerns na kayo, no? And matagal na kayo sa call center company, for example, yung throat nyo, hindi nyo na, hindi nyo na rin kaya, no? So, uh, it's it's a perfect, um, it's a perfect decision for you to find a non-voice job, no? When we say mix naman, these are, let's say, virtual assistant na job. So, a virtual assistant, kanina nyo pa siguro naririnig. If you are hired as a virtual assistant or as a general virtual assistant, medyo marami ng tawag. Uh, tawag dito para kayong online na secretary na anything na ipagawa sa inyo ni client from, let's say, file management, uh, calendar management, or appointment setting, no? Um, pagsulat ng mga letters or any documents man yan. So, uh, para kayong online na secretary, parang hindi nyo lang magagawa is yung pagtimpla ng kape. So, anything na pwede nyong gawin online, yun yung ipapagawa sa inyo as a, as a general virtual assistant. And the reason why in ko siya dito sa mix, no, kasi possible kaya na magtawag if needed lang naman. Pwede rin if needed or pwede rin part na talaga ng job nyo as a general virtual assistant yung magtawag. So, depende sa client. Okay? So, sana clear sa inyo and at least nagkaroon kayo ng idea 
uh, just to let you know, mamaya meron tayong discussion about scam. Tutulungan ko kayo mag-identify kung ano yung scam and then yung legit. And uh, pagdating naman sa mga iba't ibang trabaho na usually sinasabi nila non-voice and all that, madali lang, type-type lang, click-click lang, no? Uh, mag-ingat kayo sa mga yon okay? So, yung mga usually gagawin or kaya daw sa phone, ganyan. Later on, i-discuss natin yung tech requirements naman or kung ano naman yung mga kailangan nyo para makakuha ng legit na online job, okay? So, ito yung mga binigay ko na examples kanina, online teaching, email support, virtual assistant, iilan lang to sa mga uh, sandamakmak na online jobs na available right now, okay? Okay. Okay, sabi ng isang Facebook user, work, uh, working from home since 2016 pa, pero not enough knowledge and skills dahil bisa din sa aking mga kids. I have four kids. I've been wanting to upskill kasi priority ang needs ng kids. That's why I always listen to free webinars. Ayan. So if this is your first time watching your uh, this free webinar, please comment down. Okay po. Uh, para alam ko if it's uh, your first time watching and if it's your second time naman watching, please comment it down as well. Ayan. Okay, let's go back to our uh, discussion. So, yeah, uh, dapat ito pala yung inuna ko, but at least mas naintindihan niya kung ano-ano yung mga klase ng opportunities na available, right? But uh, balik tayo dito sa simula't simula. Um, ano nga ba uh, ang online jobs, no? So, pag sinabi natin online job, so may mga iba't ibang terms for online jobs, katulad ng remote work. So, pag sinabing remote, online din yon Home-based, ibig sabihin, online din yon or sa bahay nyo ginagawa, no? Uh, Home-based job, online job, freelance, uh, online freelancing. So, yan, medyo madami. So, kung familiar kayo sa term na freelancing, ginagamit siya madalas saan? Sa freelance host, freelance model, ganyan. Ibig sabihin, para sa mga Pinoy, pag freelancer ka, uh, hindi, yan, hindi yan stable, uh, trip-trip lang, side gigs lang, ganyan. Which is, yeah, totoo naman siya. Pero pagdating sa online freelancing, when you, when you work from home, no, may mga jobs na, later on, i-discuss natin kung ano-ano yung klase ng jobs na yun. Na, let's say, project-based lang, na hindi naman talaga yun pang matagalan. Pero meron na mga online job, na job talaga siya na full-time, no, mag-work rin kayo for 8 hours, something like that. So, when you are a freelancer, you are considered as an independent contractor, and you can uh, work for one or more clients. So, bakit allowed to work for uh, for not just one a client, but also more clients, no? Kasi may mga jobs, for example, bigyan ko kayo ng uh, trabaho na mas maintindihan nyo. Yung mga photo and ed uh, video editing na mga jobs, since project-based yun, more clients talaga for them. Uh, for social media din, ganun. Usually project-based, uh, minsan ilang oras lang, kaya nakapag-work ng maraming clients. no Pero if it's a full-time job na 8 hours, ayun, syempre, hindi nyo naman kakayanan mag-multiple jobs na full-time, right? So, uh, yung iba naman naka-full-time, yung iba naka-part-time. So, meron silang isang full-time job and then dalawang part-time job, something like that. So, kapag sa freelancing, you are free to work with one or more clients. However, may mga clients, syempre, na ayaw nila na mag-work kayo for other companies. Kaya, naka-exclusive yung contract nyo sa kanila. And if any case na meron kayong exclusivity na contract, then it's safe na mag-work lang din talaga for them. And para na rin, syempre, sa health nyo. Let me just drink water. You can also work with uh, an agency or a direct client. Ako na experience ko lahat, direct client, no? So, pag sinabi natin direct client, mag-work kayo directly for the owner, for example. So, if you're working directly for the owner, the, the CEO, the founder, no, sa kanila kayo magre-report lahat ng iutos nila, gagawin mo. If you are working under an agency naman, si agency, i-hire kayo at first, and then siya yung maghahanap ng mga clients sa inyo, and then babatuhan niya kayo ng client. Of course, meron siyang fee or every month meron siyang kukunin na percentage sa sahod niyo. 
what's nice about working with a direct client is lahat ng sahod niya, syempre, wala nang cut de diretso sa inyo. Pero walang mamamagitan sa inyo. For example, pag nagka-problema, pag halimbawang kailangan yung mag-follow up ng sahod, directly kayong lalapit sa kanila. Unlike pag may agency, at least may mamamagitan. May, may magpe-payroll, may mag... Um, may HR, no? Uh, with a direct client, depende kung establish yung client or hindi. No? So, po, pag sinabi natin establish na yung isang company, syempre buo na yung team niyan. May payroll na, may HR na. May mga uh, clients kasi nakaka-start pa lang din ng business nila. So, uh, possible na kayo yung first hire niya. So, ibig sabihin, sabayin yung ibibuild yung business niya. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na you can work with different uh different employers na may mga iba't ibang background no so merong mga executives or professionals yun nga yung sinabi ko na CEO sila ng company COO uh pag sinabi nating professionals maybe uh um profession nila um i don't know maybe uh attorney sila or sa legal and then kayo may background din kayo sa legal or nagwork kayo for in in a legal office no so then you can work with them. So, yung mga ganun. I remember, uh, meron akong isang friend na working naman siya for a uh, clinic, a dental clinic. So, siya yung naggagawa ng mga admin-related na task doon. No? So, for business owners naman, dahil sobrang daming uh, mga businesses na nag-open right now, though may mga nag-close because of COVID-19, pero marami rin mga businesses na nag-open. No? So, Either they pivot, ibig sabihin, yung dati nilang business, ititwik lang nila ng konti para pumasok online. Or, ito yung mga business owners na traditional and then nag-digitalize na sila ng business nila. So, any business owners that you can think of, no? Uh, for sure, familiar naman kayo sa iba't ibang businesses. Pero, uh, for for local, if you're familiar with, if you're not familiar with e-commerce, for the Philippines, it's Lazada, Shopee, no? Uh, abroad, there's Amazon, there's eBay, and then meron ding Shopify na tinatawag, no? So, yung mga business owners, either mag-open sila ng store dun sa mga platforms na nasabi ko or gagawa sila ng sarili nilang e-commerce na website through Shopify, for example. So, yung mga business owners na to, sila yung usually na nag-hire ng virtual assistant nila, no? So, any individual then will do. May mga students, may mga uh, tawag dito vloggers, bloggers, influencer, coaches, uh, trainers, um, authors na nag-hire. So, any individual. So, ito yung mga types of employers na pwede niyang ma-encounter, right? Bukod sa mga companies na malalaki, may mga companies na startup up rin kung tawagin. So, pagdating naman sa na nationalities, I want you to understand kung saan sa ang bansa located itong mga employers na ito and then kung ano rin yung nationalities nila hindi porket na sa America sila is uh, American citizen sila or uh, Amerikano sila may mga naging clients ako na located lang sila sa America pero taga Israel sila or taga ibang parte ng ng mundo no may mga Chinese akong clients na nasa America so uh, make sure to take note of the country na nakatira sila and then yung nationality nila. Kasi uh, the reason why gusto, kong it, uh, gusto ko kayong aralin nyo yung culture na meron sila kasi pagdating rin sa work uh, na ethics na meron tong mga to is magkakaiba din. So, yun lang naman. And then you can also find um, you can also find discussion sa group ng FH Moms uh, pagdating dito sa nationalities, no, and then countries, like, kung ano yung ugali nila, kuripot ba sila, uh, galante ba sila, mabait ba sila, no, straightforward ba sila, masungit ba sila, something like that. So, uh, ayon sa poll na ginawa natin, majority ng mga moms, ay ng mga clients, ay galing sa Amerika, sa Australia, and then sa Europe. Sabi nila, mababait daw yung mga taga-Australia, which is true naman. Marami rin ako naging clients, lalong-lalo na sa America and then Australia. Okay? Okay. Oops. Okay. It's not working. 
So pagdating naman sa schedule, there's part-time or full-time na sinasabi. Kapag sinabi natin full-time, syempre yun yung mga 8 hours na job. Anything na less than 8 hours, which is what? 6 hours, 4 hours, even 2 hours, or 1 hour is a part-time job. Kapag sinabi natin fixed naman or flexible, uh, yung mga jobs na naka-fix, pag sinabi natin fix, uh, 8 hours na shift either sa morning, sa afternoon, or sa evening yan. Usually yung mga US na clients or yung mga nasa Amerika, or kung ang iso support nyo, for example, may mga, may mga cases na, let's say, uh, agency siya sa Philippines, pero yung iso support na business or na client, syempre yung business hours sa US, panggabi talaga kayo magsishift, okay? And then, flexi na mga jobs. Pag sinabing flexi, usually ito yung mga social media job, mga project-based na jobs, uh, or pwede rin naman na hindi. As long as nag-agree kayo ni client na flexible yung magiging job nyo. So, pag sinabi natin flexible, any time of the day, pwede kayo mag-work, depende na lang sa client or sa employer nyo kung kayo ay mag-work on, uh, yeah, on a flexible hours and then magre-report na lang kayo sa kanila like daily or once a week, something like that. You can also work with a client in a long-term na type of employment or short-term. Kapag sinabi natin long-term, syempre, pang matagalan yan. However, if kayo yung hindi katagal-tagal, let's say may attitude kayo, and then hindi nyo kaya yung job, no, syempre, hindi kayo magtatagal. Yung short-term na mga jobs, yun, ito din declare naman to kapag halimbawang for one month lang, three months lang, six months lang, one year lang, something like that. No, so... Pagdating naman sa salary schedule, nagbibigay yan sila kung per project. Of course, uh, I would suggest you to ask um, an upfront na fee. Pag sinabi natin upfront na fee, parang sa online selling yan, may down payment muna, right? Or pwedeng bayad na agad ng buong cost. And then per hour, kapag sinabi natin per hour, dapat nag, uh, nag dictate kayo dyan ng rate nyo per hour. So pagdating naman sa rate per hour, I suggest you visit this site. Reup.com slash pricing. There. Meron ditong... There you go. Ayan. So, as you can see here, may mga iba't ibang skill sets dyan. Tapos, bibigyan kayo ng non-US, which is dito sa Philippines. Kung ano yung ano... Uh, pricing. no, So, at least to may idea lang kayo. Alright? So, for example, for virtual assistants, ito yung rate, no? Um, okay. So, per week naman, or bi-weekly, pag sinabi natin uh, bi-weekly, similar to dito sa pasahod sa Philippines, which is kinsenas katapusan, or yung isa pang, isa pang sahuran, which is 520 ba yun? So, May per week then so weekly kayo sa sahod. Pero ako, personally, I don't like getting payments ng weekly. Though may mga clients ako nagpapasahod ng weekly talaga. Pero ako, ay sinasuggest ko sa client na kung pwede, isang bagsak na lang sa isang buwan. Para sabay-sabay, at the same time, less din sa fees. Kasi may mga fees yan eh. So, ito na nga, usapang payment method na tayo para sa fees. So, merong PayPal, merong Payoneer. So, yung PayPal, if you're not familiar with PayPal, pakita ko na rin sa inyo. Can you see my screen when I share PayPal and other sites? Hold on for a sec. Okay, I believe you can see it naman. Alright, so this is PayPal. So, just, just create an account here. Not here. Itong sign up. Okay. And then, make sure to create an account under personal account. Okay, tapos yan, tuloy-tuloy na yan. So, for your PayPal account, this is your Payoneer naman. Na, this is the Payoneer site naman. Yan. So, what is this PayPal and Payoneer account? So, pareho lang din yan halos. Marami lang ng mga e-commerce client ang gumagamit ng Payoneer. And mas mataas yung palitan pagdating sa Payoneer. No, pag sa PayPal naman, tawag dito. For PayPal, medyo may kataasan ng konti yung fees. Pero... Ito yung kar karamihan o oh, karaniwan na ginagamit ng mga foreign na clients, especially sa US. No, kasi trusted nila and then safe. Alright? So, uh, it's important to create a PayPal account and the Payoneer account, syempre, for, for backup. And PayPal is for your main payment na method. 
And uh, with that, bakit kailangan ready siya? Kasi una pa lang during the interview, hihingan na kayo ng PayPal email address. Okay, so dapat mabigay niya siya. And then yung video with PayPal, though hindi ako makapag-open ng PayPal ko kasi syempre naka-broadcast to. Pero with PayPal, so sabihin na lang natin na yung PayPal ni client, tapos yung PayPal nyo, so gumawa kayo ng PayPal account nyo, si, si client na may PayPal, magsasend siya ng payment sa inyo. Tapos, kayo, kapag pumasok yung pera sa inyo, either naka-US siya or naka-peso, tawag dito naka-USD or peso, uh, i-withdraw nyo siya. Pag withdraw nyo siya, mapupunta siya sa bank account nyo. Pwede nyo na siya i-withdraw. Okay? Ganun din sa Payoneer. From client's Payoneer account uh, to your Payoneer account and then i-withdraw nyo rin sa ATM nyo or sa bank account. For the remittance naman, ang pinaka-common is Western Union. So if you're familiar with Western Union, uh, tawag dito, uh, ito yung isa sa mga pwede nyo magamit. Pero syempre dito kailangan ng valid ID. So make sure na kapag halimbawang magre-remit or mag accept kayo ng payments from remittance, dapat may ID rin kayo. No ba? Kasi wala kayong ID tapos sa Western Union kayo nagpahulog. Meron din si kayo mga mami about this na uh, yung mga kumukuha sa remittance na mga clients nila na pinagsisismisan sila ng mga kapitbahay na may jawa silang foreigner. <laughs> But never ko naman na-experience na mag-accept ng payment sa Western Union. Karamihan talaga sa PayPal. Okay? And other payment methods naman are transferwise and world remit. Ano naman tong transfers, transferwise and world remit? World Remit. Sorry, kati ng ilong ko. Inakaalala yata sa akin. But dahil kumain ako ng ligo, ah, ng sardinas na torta, bawal pa naman ako dun. Okay lang, masarap naman. So, for transferwise, uh, naranasan ko tong magamit. Actually, hindi nyo kailangan gumawa ng uh, transferwise account nyo. No? So, si client, lang yung gagawa ng transferwise account niya. Pagkagawa niya ng transferwise account niya, ang mangyayari, uh, sasendan niya kayo directly sa bank account niyo, which is really good kasi kahit pa paano, I'm not really sure kung may waiting time siya, pero mabilis lang. So, mali-receive niya din siya sa transferwise niyo. Uh, pwede rin mga ilang days. Depende kung anong klaseng, gina- ano yung ginamit niya eh. But, based on my experience yun, maganda. Pero syempre, hindi rin lahat ng clients eh, gumagamit ng TransferWise or World Remit. Karamihan talaga sa kanila is PayPal. Okay? So, pinakamaganda, pag una pa lang, dapat sinaset niya na or sinasabi niya na sa kanila na dapat sila yung mag-shoulder ng PayPal fee. Okay? So, or pwede nilang pasobrahan para sa PayPal fee. Alright? So, that's how you do it. Sorry. Pati na nose ko. Yan, Mami Janiv is from Saudi Arabia. Mm. Uh, for the website, para makita yung rate, i- 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 iba-banner ko. Well, hold on for a sec. It's called freeup, freeup.com slash pricing. There. There, it's freeup.com slash pricing. Okay. Sige, alisin ko na lang yung face ko para makita nyo yung slides ko. Medyo kumakati na rin yung ilong ko. Kita nyo akong kakamat ng kakamat. There. Hmm. There is no site for you to use just phone lang. So, dapat, uh, dapat um, PC or desktop or laptop talaga, mami, no? Uh, kung ha, ang question is, kung USD yung sahod, Usually, kapag gano'n ako convert na siya to peso, pero pwede mo namang i-convert and then tsaka mo siya i-withdraw. Hopefully, in case lost job, uwi na lang ako to start working from home. Marami na tayong naka-uwi from Dubai, from different parts of the world. 
dito sa Pilipinas no because of uh after landing an online job. So sobrang ganda po talaga nito mga momshies. Okay. First time watching this free webinar, work from home independent contractor since 2012 as an online English teacher, had to quit in 2014 to take care of my baby, blessed to work with an enterprise client in 2015 to 2017. Ayan, super nice. Okay, sige, let's go back to our... Mm, parang ganun na din, mami, but this, uh, this time it's, uh, it's abroad. So it usually ito yung mga... Ang na-experience ko lang na gumagamit ng TransferWise is my client from the UK. No, but my US clients talagang PayPal sila. Mami MK na po ulit yung charges regarding salary. Okay, mga mamshis, wait lang ha. Ito yung ating sa salary. So it's gonna be per project, per hour, per, per weekly, uh, per week. Or bi-weekly. So, kapag dating sa sahod, or kapag dating sa rate nyo, kayo yung magsaset nyan. What you can do is to create packages, no? Uh, for example, I'll give you an example in terms of packages. I'm not sure if this is Janelle Swings um, there. So, this is the website of Mami Janelle, our trainer for social media marketing and management. So, meron siyang packages. For example, for social media, ito yung, ito yung kanyang rate for, uh, ito, meron siyang for four platforms. Ito yung for one platform lang. So, ito yung rate. Discounted siya. Pinterest management. And then yung sample works niya. Something like that. Okay. So, when I say packages, ganun yung siya gagawin din. So, it's up to you if you wanted to uh, to to ask for a salary na per project, per hour, or nakapackage. Alright? Okay. Sige, let's move forward. Where to find online jobs? So, there's a long list of job sites that you can check. No? Uh, later on pala, I forgot to tell you. So, this, uh, I'll be sending you a link to the files that we have so for the files make sure to finish this training because i will be giving you your certificate so for for this files you will be able to receive your certificate and then important templates such as as mentioned in uh this posting you will receive this contract this contract is just a template for you to follow not copy so yeah, this is an actual contract from one of my clients in the past. And then uh, I'll be sending you screenshots of my online jobs that's PH na profile then there. And then meron na akong templates dito ng profile summary. So if you're having trouble trouble creating your uh creating your what's this? profile summary or your overview or your skill summary in your online jobs.ph and the perk account. Ayan. So meron kayong mga samples dyan. And then another thing na mga gusto kong i-share then with you guys are this one naman. This is a recommendation letter created or written by one of my clients in the past pa rin after I resigned and then sinesend ko to sa mga client ko na susunod. No, that's called the recommendation letter. Uh, if you're familiar with certificate of employment, ayan, pwede nyo ring hingiin yan. And of course, your resume. So for the resume, ito naman nag discuss natin maya, mamaya isa-isa yan. Kung paano gagawin yan. And then bukod dyan, may mga iba rin tayong templates na nandito rin sa ating drive. So ibibigay ko to later on. Sasabihin ko sa inyo kung paano nyo siya makukuha. Okay? So... Yan, meron din tayo ditong uh, mga checklist naman. So, isa-isa yan. Bibigay ko yan sa inyo. Pati itong isang checklist na to, kung ano-ano yung mga kailangan nyong i-prepare. So, huwag ma-overwhelm kasi sasabihin ko kung ano lang yung mga pinakakailangan dyan tsaka kung ano yung kailangan nyo, no? I-prepare. Talaga. Like, priority nyo. 
And then of course, meron din ako ng recording dito. So meron akong recording dito ng client ko. So interview interview ko with the client to. Tapos ito naman, mock interviews naman ng mga mommies natin na na-interview ng FH Moms para may idea kayo. Ano naman yung mga itatanong sa interview? Okay? So, may nag-a-alarm. So, yan. So, abangan nyo lang mamaya yung instructions ko about that. Okay? So, pagdating naman sa mga job sites, sobrang daming job sites. And then, iba-iba pa siya depende sa trabaho na gusto nyong hanapin. So, kapag sinabi kong trabaho na gusto nyong hanapin, for example, online teaching, sobrang daming online teaching companies. No? May Palfish, merong Akadsok, merong 5-1 Talk, at kung ano-ano pa. Kapag halimbawa namang uh, mga graphic design na mga mga jobs, ganyan, transcription na jobs, may mga specific dyan na job site. So, merong mga job sites or platforms na specific sa target nyo job, meron rin naman na iba-ibang jobs yung makikita nyo doon. At pagdating naman sa ganun na mga jobs na halo-halo, I highly suggest uh, creating an account in onlinejobs.ph. So, onlinejobs.ph kasi mabilis lang mag-create ng account and then hindi kayo mai-stress, no? Unlike sa other platforms na sobrang higpit, ang dami mo nang kailangang i-take na test, ang daming kailangang gawin, tapos hindi pa sure kung ma-approve yung account nyo. So, it's important na unahin nyo kung alin mo na yung mga madadali, okay? Para hindi kayo ma loka, hindi kayo ma-frustrate bakit hindi kayo nakakuha ng online job when hindi pa naman talaga kayo nag start maghanap. No? So, please uh, go to onlinejobs.ph Yeah. So, mamaya, papakita ko rin sa inyo yung account ko. This is onlinejobs.ph Okay? So, aside from the job sites, you can also find jobs sa social media. So, Pag sinabi natin social media, hindi lang Facebook ang social media kasi meron ring LinkedIn. I'm not sure if ma-open natin yung LinkedIn dito. But I will have to use my other account. So, wait lang for a sec. Let me open my LinkedIn account. So, for LinkedIn, if you're not familiar, LinkedIn is parang Facebook din siya, but pang professionals. And then, dito nyo makakakonect yung mga CEO. So, yung mga direct clients na pinag-usapan natin kanina. Okay? So, let me just show you my LinkedIn account. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me just show you my, my screen again. Here. So, this is my LinkedIn account. Ayan. So, you can follow me or you can connect with me in my LinkedIn account at Maria Corina Bertulfo. And then, connect with me. And then, uh, yun nga. So, just, just create an account in here. So, you can follow my format na lang with my, with my account. So, make sure to upload a, a super nice na profile photo. And then, of course, your banner. And then, you can check this one. This is your overview. No, so make sure to create something like this. So pa-follow niyo na lang to. So kapag halimbawang yung experience niyo then i-edit niyo. Later on kapag tinuruan ko kayo sa pag-edit ng profile and then pag-edit ng resume, ko ano yung natur nat natutunan niyo doon, i-apply niyo lang din dito, okay? Perfect. Okay, sige. Let me share my screen again for the slides. Okay. May medical, uh, ay, wait lang. May nakita ko kaninang medical na question. Wait lang, na-allergy na yata ako. I'm sorry. Ah, ito. May medical related na online. Yes, there is. May mga medical, may mga medical na jobs. But, uh, Usually, medical lang yung account. For example, I'll give you an example. There are transcription na jobs na medical. Medical transcriptionist yung tawag doon. So, it's important that you have a medical na background because if not, yung mga medical terms hindi mo maiintindihan. No? So, ganun siya ka-important. 
So may mga jobs na let's say virtual assistant and then yung account is either health insurance or medical related. Okay? So hanapin mo yung mga ganong klase ng jobs. Ayan. Sorry guys, ina-allergy na ako. Daddy water pa please. Patanggal kasi may milk yung baso ko. Okay. Meron na dapat po akong interview. Pero hindi ko po na-push kasi parang natakot po ako. No background kasi about work from home. Okay, once na natakot ka, okay lang yon. <laughs> Since first time mo naman yon, sana pinush mo na lang, Mamashi. But okay lang, meron pa namang other opportunities. Maybe you can find time na mag-review or mag-aral ng mga interview questions and then practice. Okay, later on, tuturuan ko kayo with that. Hi everyone, Madayo. Na happen from Davao. I miss Davao. Yes, everyone will get a copy of the certificate and the templates and all the files na pwede kong i-share with you. Uh, tips naman about the test and online jobs. It's just a 15, 15 item or 20 item lang na, na test for English, uh, IQ, and then what's the other one? English IQ and personality test or DISC which is sobrang, sobrang easy lang. And then, pwede nyo pang i-retake uh, kapag feeling nyo hindi nyo gusto yung score kasi mababa, something like that. I don't think kailangan nyo pa ng tulong ko with that, but later on, pwede nating silipin, alright? Any recommendation for what brand of laptop or specs ang need? Ayan, later on, natin pag-uusapan yan. Okay, sige. Uh, any tips how to apply for SMM and VA position? Kasi po, most of the clients wanted experience. VAs, two or more years to be exact. Okay, I don't think lahat ng clients are looking for someone who has two or more years to be exact. Uh, siguro yung particular na job ad lang na nakita mo. But social media, when I started uh, applying for social media jobs, one, less than one month lang yung experience ko. And uh, in terms of galing and all that, natutunan ko lang siya sa Google. Nag-Google lang talaga ako ng mga kailangan matutunan about social media. Okay? No one coached me. I don't have any experience in bookkeeping and hindi rin ako nakapag-aral regarding accounting po. Pero I love keeping files or managing finances. Is it possible to be trained? Definitely. So we have an accounting course na pwede for non-accountants. -non so you can you can check that out. However, full yung slots natin until uh, June, so open na yung July, no? But definitely you can learn, especially now na merong mga uh, online na platforms for bookkeeping or online accounting, which is QuickBooks and then Zero. You can easily access uh, this video video tutorials in in YouTube, no? Yes, mabibigyan uh, lahat ng certificate. I'm not familiar with B reply. Watch resume and CB writing before and overview of general VA, but have not yet tried applying. Lagi lang nag check sa online jobs that PH. Kailangan po mag apply para makakuha ng job. Okay. So feel free to comment your questions. We'll try to answer. Nakapag-work from home na din ako, pero two years, zero knowledge po ako sa lahat. Kasi po, data entry lang siya. And communication po is sa Filipino manager lang din po. Sana makapag-work na ulit. Okay, if it's a Filipino manager, a Filipino HR recruiter whatsoever, pag mga kapapinay natin, medyo mahigpit lang. Mas mahigpit lang sila and then sobrang particular sila about the grammar, about your accent, stuff like that. Depende rin sa job, but May mga clients kasi, that's why I love working with direct clients kasi hindi sila ganun ka particular about our grammar, about our accent, ganyan. Definitely, definitely kapag voice job, mag, maghahanap sila ng someone who has strong communication skills. But if it's a non-voice na job, as long as kaya mong gawin yung job, as long as nakita nilang okay, kaya pasok. Okay?
pasok yun sa banga. So you don't have to worry na hindi makakuha ng clients na hindi kayo tatanggapin. Alright? For non-experience na applicants, I cannot tell na I, I can I can tell you na just apply for jobs na mga mabababa lang, madadali lang, stuff like that. Kasi iba-iba naman kasi yung level of difficulty pagdating sa mga trabaho. Pero I can say na yung mga jobs na admin and then data entry jobs, yun yung pwede for beginners. Pero eventually, hindi nyo na rin consider yung sarili nyo na mga newbie kahit ilang weeks pa lang kaya sa online job kasi sobrang dami nyo nang matututunan based on experience. Okay? Requirements para makareceive ng certificate, later on, I'll tell you, kapag tapos na, okay? Kung training na to, para tapusin nyo. At samahan nyo ako hanggang mamaya. And then, you can watch the replay after. No, meron tong replay uh, na automatic. Ayun, si mami merong nagsisizure yung anak niya. And we're working pa rin sa call center. So, yeah, praying for your baby mommy. So, uh, aside from social media, pinakita ko na sa inyo yung LinkedIn. And then, pina uh, familiar naman na kayo sa FH Moms group. Pagdating sa social media, mag-iingat kayo sa mga iba't ibang groups like, uh, like um, other groups na mga freelancing. Kasi may mga nagpo-post doon na mga scam. Okay? So, sobrang mag-iingat pagdating sa mga Facebook group, no? What you can do, ang pinaka-best, lalo ng mga Filipino na mga Facebook groups, no? mag -ikat. May mga legit na mga Facebook groups, pero syempre, kailangan makita, kailangan ma-hide nila syempre yung mga, uh, mga scam na mga job ads. Kung hindi ganun ka na moderate yung mga Facebook group na yun, uh, napakadelikado. So, it's important na yung Facebook group na sasalihan nyo, e eh, talagang Uh, chine-check kung scam ba or legit yung mga job post nila doon. May mga nakikita kasi akong group na hindi eh. Ang daming scam. So, important na mag-join kayo doon sa mga groups na talagang nababantayan. And then, one more thing pala, uh, pagdating sa Facebook group, what you can do is to join international groups. So, may mga international groups na pwede kayong salihan. No, wait lang for a sec. Let me just Let me just transfer my slides. <laughs> Nangangatin na yung ilong ko sobra. Uh, let me just create another. Medyo nag-alangan lang yung pagkain ko. Nang... Wait lang for a sec. I'm trying to create another... Um, Naka, ano kasi yun eh. Naka-incognito. Sorry, I'm trying to navigate on my screen. Wait lang for a sec. Para makapag-open tayo. I'm trying to open my online jobs.ph account. Sorry. Walang pula na yung ilong ko. <laughs> Oops. Hindi niya siya nakikita. Hold on for a sec. Sorry. I have... I'm... Trying to share my screen, my other screen. Pero mukhang ayaw niya. Well, anyway. Okay. Okay. So, for the referral naman. So, when I say referral, so yeah, what I'm saying is, what you can do is join international groups. No? So, let's see here. Ah, hindi ko ma-share yung buong, buong deck. Ay, yung buong... Oh, no. Wait love for a sec. I'm trying to share all all my 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 windows. It's not allowing me to happen. Hold on. Now. Let's 
Sige na nga, okay na nga to. Okay, di talaga. So, I'll show na lang later. But just to proceed with our deck, no? For social media, you can join other uh, groups. Wait, let me check if makikita niya. Hindi talaga. I wanted to show my screen. Then for a sec. Sorry about that. Here. So for example, other groups that I'm that I'm in are this one. This is my favorite international group, Virtual Assistant Savvies. So may mga job opening dito and then may mga discussions ng mga international na mga virtual assistants. So why do I want you to engage or why why do I want you to uh, join international groups? E para yung standard natin, e international level. Plus, ma-practice din tayo makipag-usap sa mga international na people. Okay, so that, that that's the way to go, no? Other groups naman, I tried joining women helping women entrepreneurs na sobrang dami ring members 346k na so with this with this group at least makikita niyo yung mga iba't ibang freelancers entrepreneurs di ba remember sabi ko sa inyo yung mga mag-hire sa atin ay mga um, mga CEO mga business owners din so dito niyo sila pwedeng mami so aside from this group you can also join other groups na hindi hindi specific for women no uh, so yun Yan, and then, <laughs> it la. Okay, balik tayo sa slides natin. There. Okay. Alright. Pag sinabi namang referral, ito, pagdating sa referral, hindi to yung katulad dito sa Philippines na uh, kailangan, tawag dito, may kaibigan kayo, kaya kakilala kayo, kamag-anak na magbabakar sa inyo or magpapasok. Hindi siya ganun. Though may mga cases na Kapag halimbawa may family member kayo na nag-work from home, tutulungan ka lang niya, syempre, pwede kanyang i-refer sa client niya. But eventually, kayo pa rin yung, uh, kailangan ka kayo pa rin yung mag-impress dun sa client or dapat may skills pa rin kayo. Kasi imagine niyo naman kung nirefer kayo ng family member or ng friend niyo tapos nung nirefer niya kayo, uh, hindi pa kayo ready, wala kayong alam na task na gawin online, hindi pala kayo ganun pa kamarunong, no? And then syempre, Pag nagalit yung client or napahiya, si napahiya kayo or may mali kayong ginawa, mapapahiya yung friend or family member nyo. No? Kaya may alangan din yung mga family and friends nyo na i-refer kayo no? bilang nubi pa lang kayo. So it's important na kailangan mapatunayan nyo rin muna dun sa friend nyo and family member na kaya nyo gawin talaga yung trabaho. No? So... That's the only time na pwede nila kayong i-refer. Pero syempre, nag-iingat rin yung mga yan. Alright? So, these are the basic requirements na kakailangan na natin. Meron tayong anim akong nilista. Pero as you can see here, sa listahan natin, dito ko na nga lang i- uh, ano. As you can see here sa listahan natin, na isashare ko pa lang ulit. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. Dito sa listahan natin, meron tayong mga checklist. ba? So, this one. Ito yung luma kong checklist. So, kapag na-receive nyo tong files natin na to, you will find uh, the list of the reliable sources na pwede nyo mapagkunan for your home office equipment. Okay? Which is from the mall, para pag gusto nyo na May warranty, something like that. Lazada, Shopee, Carousel, Mac and Facebook group. Mag-ingat lang kasi baka ma-scam kayo. Alright? When you buy, buy within your budget. So, ito yung mga tech natin na pag-uusapan pa natin maya-maya na konti. But as you can see here, uh, may, ito uh, for for the desktop and then the laptop. As you can see here, i3 and then 4 gig, 4 gig pa na RAM which cost 20,000. For the desktop, ang setup 17k above. Pero... If you wanted na mas marami kayong ma-applyan, mas maganda sana kung mas mataas yung specs. Let's say i5, ganyan, 8 gig na RAM. So, yan yung specs na tinatawag. Okay? So, that's for the computer. It's important na maayos yung computer because 
uh, tawag dito, kailangan reliable yung equipment nyo, especially your internet. Pag sinabi natin reliable kasi kailangan stable yung mga job or task kasi nagagawin nyo, uh, hindi pwedeng, hindi matapos on time, kailangan mabilis nyo siyang matapos, tsaka magawa nyo siya ng maayos. Kaya dapat reliable both the internet and the computer. Speaking of internet, kailangan wired yung internet connection. May mga nag-start na prepaid, wireless, ganyan. Pero mga one week lang, nagpapa-upgrade na sila or nagpapakabit na sila ng wired internet connection. Bakit? Siyempre, mas mura. Mauubos yun kapag halimbawa hindi hindi unlimited. No? O kumbaga, uh, prepaid lang. Mas mapapagastos kayo. You can only use your wireless na or prepaid na internet backup for backup lang talaga. So, pag nagkaroon ng problema yung wired internet connection nyo. Alright? So, that's that's how you do it. And then, for for the rest of the technical requirements, such as headset, webcam, mouse, and keyboard, meron na rin kami ditong nilagay na um, na recommendation. Okay? So, ito yung luma nating checklist. And then, the other checklist naman is this one. So, as you can see here sa checklist na to, pinag-ipon-ipon ko na kung ano-ano yung mga kasama sa uh, home office na setup. Uh, hindi, tawag dito, hindi required yung speaker, hindi required na may smartphone or tablet kayo na back up. Pero maganda to if you're a social media manager, for example, and magta-travel kayo, at least makakapag-post pa rin kayo or makakapag-create kayo. No? Pr printer is optional, but with my online job before, kailangan namin mag-print. Uh, so that's that's optional and then of course your wireless internet connection backup power source pag sinabi natin power source meron na nabibili right now na mga parang power bank sa laptop something like that, yung iba gumagamit ng uh, sa kotse na baterya no? para pag halimbawa nawala ng kuryente sinasabi nila na yun yung backup power source nila or kung meron kayong pera, meron mga mini generator, no? So, yun yung mga pwede nyo sabihin sa client kapag tinanong yung about sa electricity during the interview. And of course, office chair and table. And ito yung mga documents na kailangan. Again, nilista ko lang lahat ng pwede nyo ilista dito. This is, these are not just documents but also the things that you need to prepare um, in terms of accounts, no? Or profile na kailangan i-prepare. Um, nilista ko lang lahat para ready kayo. So, you can prepare or you can have a professional photo for, of course, for your resume. Kung gusto nyo, parang photo shoot yung peg nyo para palagay nyo siya with your, sa inyong website, something like that, depende sa inyo. But it's important to create a job site na profile, your social media accounts. Why do you have to create your, to create a professional social media account? Because, Si client, hindi naman yan magsi-CI, hindi naman yan magba-background check, or hindi naman niya kayo pupuntahan sa mga bahay-bahay nyo. So, the uh, way niya para rin i-check kayo, no, is, uh, sorry, merong typo dito. Baka mag-cringe kayo. Uh, Siyempre, mag-check yan ng social media accounts nyo. Kaya dapat maayos yung mga social media account nyo. Uh, a perk, website, sample works, yan, nilagay ka na siya halos lahat dito. Social media account din, ilagay ko na rito kung ano yung mga pinaka-importanting social media, not just social media, but as well as your Gmail, Skype, pang communication nyo. Uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Hangout, WhatsApp, Zoom, so nilagay ko na siya dyan lahat. Okay? And then, screen screenshot ng mga test results nyo. Let's say yung, not just test results, but any screenshot na dapat nyo i-prepare, just in case na hingiin. Internet speed, system requirement, typing test, this personality, IQ test. Bakit ko sa inyo pinapaprepare itong lahat ng to? Kasi gusto ko ready kayo. Pag hiningi ng client, dapat mabigay nyo kaagad. It's the way to go. The more na nakikita nilang ready kayo at mabilis kayo, mas mahahire kayo. Okay? And then, of course, your strengths or your skills and then payment method. Nilist ako na rin. So, this is your, this is like your um, checklist. Ang daming typo na itong checklist na to. Sorry naman na. Puyat yung mga gumagawa nito eh. So, Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, kinumpleto na namin tong checklist na to para isahan lang yung tingin niyo. I-update ko to, medyo maraming typo. Um So going back, balik tayo ulit dito. So as you can see, sobrang dami niyo kailangan gawin, but ito yung top 6 na kailangan niyo i-prepare. Okay? 
tech, docs, skills, tools, mindset, proper mindset, and then support group. Okay? So, for your tech naman, na-explain ko na kanina, uh, ito na yung pinakamababa siguro na pwede nyong i- 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 kung halimbawa nagko-consider kayo ng desktop or laptop, ito na sana yung pinakamababa. Uh, mas updated, mas maganda. So, at least i3 fourth gen or AMD equivalent and then 4 to 8 gig na RAM. Okay? And then for the wired internet connection, ito actually sobrang baba pa nito. At, at least up to 5 Mbps. Pero kapag sinabi kasi natin dito sa Pilipinas na 5 Mbps na uh, what's this? Na internet na kukunin nyo Kapag 5 Mbps yan, bababa pa yan up to 1. No? So, sobrang nakakalungkot yung internet dito sa Pilipinas. So, if you can get, I don't know kung merong package ng 50 Mbps or 20, 25 Mbps bar, something like that, yun na yung pinaka-safe na kunin nyo. Okay? Kung medyo kaya namang mag-avail uh, mag ng mas mataas na internet, better. Okay? Kasi internet is life pagdating sa online jobs. And then webcam and then headset. Okay? So, for the doc requirements, ito lang yung top three na kailangan nyong i-prepare. I know, nag-mention tayo kani... Ay! Nakikita nyo ba yung screen ko? Ay, thanks God. Nakikita nyo pala. Hindi ko na pala kailangan magpalipat-lipat. Magpa-stop-stop. Okay. It's good. Sobrang worried ako kanina na hindi niya nakikita yung screen ko. Uh, so, for doc requirements, you can have, pro you should prepare your, you should create your profile account in onlinejobs.ph, cover letter, and then recipe. Ano ba tong profile na to? So, gagawin natin tong profile niya sa onlinejobs.ph for the reason na kapag tulog kayo and then nag-search si client ng virtual assistant, for example, naghanap siya, nakita niya yung profile niyo, at nagandahan siya sa profile niyo, no, definitely magme-message sa, sa inyo. Okay, ganun ka importante yung profile. Parang Facebook profile lang yan na kailangan maayos, di ba? Uh, for, for your cover letter naman, sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung cover letter or application letter, kapag nakakita kayo ng isang online job post na available at gusto nyong applyan, ito yung unang-unan yung isesend. Or ito yung unang-unang makikita ni client. So, ano ba tong cover letter na to? Typical letter lang din to, in parang introduction letter din about you and about your intent to apply, no? Uh, imagine niyo na lang, bigyan ko na lang kayo ng isang example at kwento ko na rin sa inyo. Yung isang kaibigan ko na single pa and then English teacher siya, so definitely skilled siya, magaling siyang teacher, tapos magaling pa siya mag-English and all that. Nung sinabi ko sa kanya na mag-apply siya sa onlinejobs.ph, uh, ginawa naman niya, and then sobrang nalulungkot siya nung bumalik siya sa akin, minessage niya ako, sabi niya, ano ba ito, bakit walang pumapansin sa akin? Tapos tinanong ko kung anong ginagawa niya, ang ginagawa niyo pala, nagsisend siya resume lang. Wala siyang cover letter na sinesend. So, napakamot na lang ako kasi nga, importante tong cover letter na to. So, imagine niyo na lang, na kapag personal to. So, ginagawa natin to online, right? So, gumawa tayo ng profile, cover letter, resume online. Imagine ninyo kapag halimbawang mag apply kayo sa isang opisina na face-to-face. -face. Itong resume nyo, ready, no? Pinaprint nyo pa. Uh, tapos, nung pumasok kayo dun sa room, yung resume nyo, nilapag nyo lang sa table. Nang walang kahit na anong sinasabi. Tapos, naka-folder pa siya, for example. So, hindi siya makikita. So, nilagay niyo lang siya doon. Tapos, wala kayong kahit na anong sinabi. Parang ganoon din yung cover letter. So, kapag yung cover letter, yan yung magsasalita para sa inyo online. Okay? So, syempre, hindi naman kayo makakapagsalita dyan na, Uy, this is my resume. Check, check it out. Hindi, nyo, hindi kayo makakapaganan, ba So, yung cover letter, yung magsasalita para sa inyo. Sa resume naman, ito yung uh, document kung saan, dito nyo ilalagay lahat ng credentials nyo contact details nyo, skills nyo, interest nyo, lahat ng pwede nyo ilagay. Work experience, education, blah, blah, blah. Okay, dyan nyo ilalagay. So, itong tatlong to, yung pinaka-importanteng documents na kailangan nating i-prepare pag magsisimula tayo. Dapat focus tayo dito sa tatlong to. Lalong-lalo na kung okay na yung gamit nyo, pati yung internet nyo. Okay? So, isa pa na gusto kong i-explain sa inyo is yung key requirements natin. 
Uh, this is for four hours, pero pwede namang i-review later. Okay? <laughs> Ah, naka-freeze ba? Oh, no. Sige, wait lang for a sec. Okay, so let me... I thought na ano siya. Sige. Let me just use my ano. Wait lang. Ito na nga lang ako gagamit. Akala ko na i-share siya. Wait lang, ayusin ko na lang ulit yung screen ko. Gamit na lang ako ng isang browser. Nalilito na tuloy ako sa sarili kong presentation. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Mm. Okay, sorry. Okay, sige. <laughs> let's, let's just go back. Sorry. Okay, so kanina, ito yung sinabi ko, yung profile cover letter and resume. Uh, I hope nakikita niya na yung screen ko right now. So, yeah, di ko na ulitin yung sinabi ko. I hope na kuha niya na yun. And then when it comes to skills requirements naman, this is very important. So for all of us, uh, iniisip natin na wala na tayong skills, wala na tayong kaalam-alam about the technology and all that stuff. Pero please keep, it, uh, keep in mind na ang skills, especially soft skills, ay eh, natututunan niyan sa mga uh, life experience natin. Or it's, this is experience-based, kumbaga. Hard skills are technological skills natin. So when we say soft skills, ito yung mga skills na either natutunan natin simula pagkabata natin, sa mga magulang natin, sa pagiging nanay natin, uh, natutunan natin sa school, natutunan natin sa work, no, sa kahit saan. So natutunan natin siya sa life, okay? Uh, ito yung mga skills na kailangan natin, lalong-lalo na for the work. That's why kapag halimbawang, lalo na dun sa mga mommies natin na marami nang na-experience na iba't ibang klase ng work and they consider na yung mga natutunan nila eh nakapa, nakadagdag dun sa skills nila. Please keep in mind na itong mga soft skills na to sobrang importante na to pagdating sa pag-work. Lalong lalo na kapag mag-work kayo online. Na kailangan, um, na kailangan nyo talaga ng skills na kagaya ng communication skills, negotiation skills, leadership skills. Yan yung mga soft skills. Yan, pagiging flexible, pagiging creative, lahat ng yan. And then, yung, so sana naintindihan natin yung soft skills natin. During the interview and then sa resume nyo, hindi nyo kailangang ilagay yung soft skills nyo at saka yung hard skills nyo. Tinatry ko lang ipaintindi sa inyo kung ano-ano yung mga hard skills at bakit hard skills and soft skills at paano nyo siya ma-identify. Okay? So, hindi nyo kailangang ibida na ito yung soft skills nyo, ito yung hard skills nyo. Hindi. But by the end of the day, skills lang yan, okay? Skills lang yan na combined. So, I want you to combine your soft skills and then your hard skills para masigurado na makakapag-provide kayo ng quality, uh, ng quality na work sa inyong mga clients or employers. So, 
um, our hard skills naman, these are the tech skills na kakailanganan nyo to finish the job. Okay? To, to, to make sure na maayos yung job. Ganyan. So, these are like admin, graphic design, accounting, at kung ano-ano pa. Okay? So, Magkaramihan sa inyo, kapag gagawa na kayo ng resume, mahihirapan kayo mag-identify ng mga words or kung anong skills yung, kung anong skills yung, sorry, uminom ako ng antihistamine, sabog-sabog na sabog na ako. <laughs> kung ano yung mga uh, skills na meron kayo. So, uh, with that, uh, tawag dito, gusto ko na i-research nyo ano-ano yung mga soft skills, itry nyo i-Google. Available naman siya sa Google. Soft skills. There. What are soft skills? Ito, top 10 na soft skills. Okay? And then, yung hard skills ka nun din. So, gusto ko ipag-combine nyo siya. For example, flexible admin skills, creative graphic design skills, so something like that. Para hindi kayo maubusan ng uh, sasabihin or hindi kayo maubos kung paano nyo siya gustong sabihin. Okay? For the tool requirements naman, this is very important. So, we have communication uh, communication tools such as uh, Skype, and then meron ding Slack na tinatawag. So, I hope everyone is familiar with Skype. I Let me show you my screen. To check if pwede niyo makita yung aking Skype account. Here. So, this is my Skype. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So this is, oh no, hindi ko na mga, I don't know, but this is uh, one of my clients. As you can see here, we communicate sa Skype and uh, the account is bikini. Kaya may makikita kayo mga babae. But I want to show kung paano yung communication namin. Now, this is very casual. I'm trying to show you our first convo here. Medyo madami na. Buti na lang madaming toming mo yan. But uh, for example, this is how casual it is, no? So, yeah. Hi, Tommy. This is Maria. How are you? Tapos, reply niya. Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, doing good. Thanks. I'm up for the VA position you're offering. May I know the details, please? So, as you can see here, nag ako ng more information. I run e-commerce. We have a startup for the Kini brand. Wow, that's so cool. How did you know about me? So, nagtanong pa ako ng ganun kung saan niya ako nakita. I'm looking for an experienced social media manager to handle our pages and accounts plus dealing with influencers. I found you on onlinejobs.ph. So, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano nyo gagawin yung cover letter nyo para dumating sa point na sila na lang yung lalapit sa inyo. Okay? And did look at your site and some of your work. Do you manage multiple clients of blah, blah, blah? I don't have a client right now. Yes, I do have a mommy group. You make a living out of the group. Ito yung sa FH Moms. Okay? So, ganyan. Sobrang casual lang pagdating sa... Oops, oops, oops. Can you see my screen? I'm not sure if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Nung nasa Skype tayo kanina. Ah, yeah. You can see it. Okay. So, that's good. That's enough for, for, for Skype. Uh, let's... So, I hope you enjoyed that, that Skype na ano. And then for... The other one naman, let's see. Okay, this is for Skype naman. Ah, wait no for a sec. Sorry about that. I have to share my application window. Let me just open my Slack. So, ganito yung itsura ng Slack, but I'll be showing you uh, the Slack naman for FH Moms. Okay? Hold on for a sec. I'm trying to view it now. Okay, there you go. Here. So, this is our... Oh, no! Too much info. <laughs> so, this is our stack. So, as you can see here, nandito yung mga trainers ng FH Moms. And then, let's say, for example, uh, this is the uh, the direct na messages or PM na sinasabi. And then, itong random na lang. So, meron dito mga... Et mga channel na tinatawag. So, para siyang group chat. Uh, ginagamit ito ng mga uh, virtual teams, especially if, let's say, may mga teams sa US, may teams sa Philippines, ganyan. And then, sobrang daming department. The reason why they are using Slack is because of these channels na 
uh, pwedeng magpalipat-lipat ng topic or department. Let's say ako, I'm a supervisor and then I'm managing different accounts or different um, different teams, no? So it's it's good to have this kind of communication tools, especially for the team. So for the Skype, you're gonna use Skype for most most of the time. You're gonna use uh, Slack for uh, your interview, first interview, and then kapag mag-interact or makikipag-communicate na with the rest of the the rest of the team, ginagamit usually Slack. And then there's WhatsApp as well. It's similar with Viber. Okay, so I hope it helps. Um, yeah, minsan ah. Uh, Ganun lang po yung interview. Yeah. What happened is that madalas uh, when I started nag-aano lang ako panay panay video call yung interview. Pero nung tumagal-tagal na hindi na masyado more on chat na lang and then email. Tapos na close ko na yon. Okay? Wait lang ha. So medyo bilisan lang natin kasi medyo nasabog ako dun sa ininom kong antihistamine. Yung Skype po yung last preview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mostly video call, especially pag yung mga clients na uh, first time din nila mag-hire, something like that. So, kailangan nila kay video call. But most of the clients na uh, sobrang sanay na sanay na mag-hire ng virtual assistant, what they do, uh, tawag dito, chat na lang nila. no So, ganun ginagawa madalas. Okay. Ayun, perfect. So if you're using Slack now for communication and the client uh, uh, told you to that you're gonna use uh, Slack, then then better. It's it's uh, it's an advantage for you, no? Okay, sige. Gusto ko tapos ang webinar sobrang hina ng signal. Ah, you can also try watching our YouTube naman na, na live stream, no? Okay, wait lang for a sec. My nose is so itchy. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go back naman to the admin tools. There. So, uh, for the admin tools naman, I wanted to share about the, the Google tools or the Google... Um, tools na pwede niyang i-check. May isa pang tawag dito, I forgot lang. But these are the apps uh, inside your Gmail account. No? So, for let's say, for example, let me open my, my Gmail account. Wait for a sec. Okay. So, for your Gmail, punta lang kayo dito and then try to open Docs, Sheets, as well as Slides is okay. And then Google Drive. I want you to open your Google Calendar as well. And Google Form. There. Hi, Ma. Yes, Mommy? Oh, sige, sige. Tulog kami. Alright, sige. So, uh, it's very important na alam nyo how to navigate Google Calendar, especially if the client will ask you to uh, will ask you to risk to, to, what's this? To confirm or to, to say yes to the calendar invite na isesend niya for your uh, for your, what's this? For your interview. Okay? So, may, 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 tawag dito, may mga clients na nagsasend ng calendar invite. Okay? So, pag ganun, mapupunta yun dito sa Gmail nyo. And it's important na alam nyo tong calendar sa Gmail, sa Google, kasi may mga jobs or may mga clients na ang gagawin niya is pag niya kayo nitong calendar. Okay, so dapat marunong kayo sa calendar and it's so easy to use. You'll just add the title and then yung time and then kung may kailangang invite, let's say, si client A gusto niya mag-invite ng client B. Okay, yung friend niya or co-workmate niyo, for example. 
ayaw yung magsaset or maglalagay ng email dito. And then kung saan gaganapin, sa Google Meet ba? Google Meet, na kasama rin to sa isa sa mga communication tools. Ang Google Meet naman ay similar with Zoom, ganyan. So if you're not familiar with Zoom, ito naman yung itsura ng Zoom. Siguro naman familiar na tayo lahat sa Zoom. After ng COVID-19, marami nang gumagamit ng Zoom. Ayan. Okay? So, yan. So, that's that's uh, the Google Calendar. And then, we have Google Drive naman. So, for Google Drive naman, uh, let's say, for example, this one. So, you can save files, you can save photos, you can save videos. No, so pag magsa-save naman tayo ng videos or photo, for example, click la ng upload file and then click the item or the image that you want to save and then tada, naka-save na siya. Okay? Just delete lang natin 'yan. Okay? And then if let's say for example, you wanted to share, let's say this is your resume, halimbawa lang, and you wanted to share that to a client. I-click niyo lang 'yan and then can view, and then dapat nakiklik nyo siya dahil ayaw niya. Here. Dapat meron dito yung nakukuha. Or pwede nyo i-enter yung name, but dapat merong option to share the ano. Naka G Suite kasi ako, kaya medyo ano to, medyo mahigpit tong Google Drive na to. But later on, I'll share with you kung paano nyo makukuha yung link ng isang file. And then there's Google Slides. For Google Slides naman, tawag dito, slide presentation. Okay, so if you're familiar with slide presentation, there you go. Yan naman siya. Okay. And then, Google Sheets naman. Hanap lang ako ng information na hindi masyadong sensitive. Sorry. Ito, for example. Uh, okay, so, ayan, for example. So, ito yung Google Sheets natin. Tapos, similar siya with Excel. Tapos, yan, i-explore nyo lang to. Sobrang easy lang naman to to use. Yung mga, uh, kung may mga kailangan na formula, something like that, sobrang easy na lang yan. So, you don't have to worry na kailangan nyo yun. Pwede naman kahit yung basic lang na ano. And what's nice about uh, Google Sheets na especially for numbers, merong itong option to, to explore. And then kung kailangan nyo isummarize yung, or kung makuha nyo yung sum nung uh, numbers na nilagay nyo, pwede siya. So, similar lang din siya with Excel. Uh, what's nice about Google Sheets, Google Docs, and all those tools na meron dito sa G Suite, no? Pwede nyo yung pwede nyo yung i-share yung access sa uh, let's say sa boss nyo or sa mga coworkers nyo online, right? Para sabay kayong mag-edit. For example, naghahanap lang ako dito ng hindi masyadong sensitive na information. Uh, wait, wait, wag to, wag to. Uh, okay, let's say for example, itong radio feature na to. So, let's say for example, ini-edit ko to. Ayan, ini-edit ko to. Nagsusulat ako dyan, diba? Uh, ayan. Habang ini-edit ko to, pwede kong ibigay yung link dun sa client ko. Ayun, meron na. Ayan, automatic naman na siya dapat nalalabas. Tapos pag sinend ko yung link kay client, magkakaroon na siya ng access dito. Tapos makikita niya na, tapos makakapag-edit din siya. Okay, so pareho na kayo mga kapag edit so, so, sobrang ganda niyan ng mga tools na to kasi maganda siya for collaboration. Pareho kayo mga kapag edit Unlike pag sa Microsoft Word or Excel na kailangan nyo muna siyang i-download bago nyo ma-edit. Stuff like that. So, pagdating naman sa Google Form, sobrang easy lang din niya. Ayan. So, may mga... Tawag dito, may mga templates na rin for, for Google Tools, uh, Google Form. And then, i-edit nyo na lang din. Ayan, kung gusto nyo mag-add ng isa pang question, ito siya. 
So, we explore nyo na lang din to. Okay? That's Google Form. So, yan usually yung ginagamit for admin. Kung meron pang mga ibang admin tools, usually sasabihin na lang ng client kung kailangan nyo gamitin yun. Okay? And other tools naman is for multimedia or graphic design. Marami ring tools na just with graphic design but with all, but with video editing rin at kung ano-ano pa. Okay? So, isang mabilis lang na uh, explanation. I'm trying to finish uh, as early as possible as bago ako makatulog dito sa anti-histamine ko. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but we'll try to finish early. So, for Canva.com, as you can see here, if you don't have an account in Canva.com, this uh, this is for free. Meron na rin siya na Canva desktop. Meron na rin siyang Canva app. Okay? So, for, uh, dito rin natin gagawin yung resume natin, pero kayang-kaya nyong gumawa ng iba't-ibang mga, wait lang, hahanap ako ng, hanapin ko lang yung iba't-ibang, ay, wait, ito yung all, lahat ng designs na nagawa ko na, eh, but, here, here, sorry, this one. Okay, so, ito yung mga templates na pwede nyong uh, i-explore, no? So, you can create Facebook posts ang sa Canva kaya siya maganda kasi may mga ready-made na siya na templates, no? Uh, Instagram stories, in Instagram posts kung kayo ay social media manager, no? Pwede niyo nang gawin lahat ng graphic designs niyo dito. So i-edit niyo lang yung text, i-edit niyo lang yung photo. And then flyers, presentations, thumbnails. Alam niyo ba na may mga trabaho na gagawa lang kayo ng slide presentation. Tapos makikita niyo sa Canva, kahit Canva ready na yung presentation, 'di ba? YouTube thumbnails, at marami pang iba, no? So, make sure to explore this. Ang dami niyong pwedeng magawa, like as in, may brochures, may logo, resume, no? Infographics, posters. So, resume yan, mamaya gagawin natin yan. Uh, hanap tayo ng resume na template dito. Let's say, for example, this template. I-explore na din natin habang ano pa. So, as you can see here, may mga iba't ibang klase ng templates. Dito nyo yan makikita. Yung mga photos na i-upload nyo, dito nyo, in-upload nyo, dito nyo rin. Ay, ito yung mga photos na built-in. No, a built-in na, uh, or available, sorry, available sa Canva. May mga free, may mga paid. Kapag sinabing paid, makikita nyo, ayan, pro. Meron nyo na $1 na payment, no? Hmm. etong pro, sorry. Ang ibig sabihin ng pro, kapag Canva Pro or premium yung account nyo, makukuha nyo na lang to for free. Pero kapag naka-free kayo na account and then makikita nyo to sa end nyo, may bayad siya na $1 usually, no? So, pati rin ganun rin sa mga elements. May mga free elements, may mga paid na elements. So, as you can see here, may mga grids or frames na tinatawag, shapes, stickers na gumagalaw, charts, gradients, lines, at iba't ibang mga icons and stickers, okay? For the text, ganun din. May mga iba't ibang font combination. Pag sinabi natin font combination, may dalawang font na pinagsama, of course. And then, yung mga iba't ibang fonts, dito nyo na siya makikita, no? Kapag linik nyo yan, tapos pumunta kayo dito. Yan, dyan nyo makikita yung sandamakmak na magagandang fonts, all right? And then, meron music na, meron ng video, meron ng background. For the background, meron na rin gradients. Diba? Sobrang ganda. Meron na rin mga iba't ibang landscapes and textures, no? And then, this is where you can upload photos. Ayan, let's say you wanted to upload, for example, this photo, for example. And then folders if you wanted to organize your images. And then here, this is where you can change the colors. There. Okay. And then this is where you can increase the size of the text, the color, if you want to itemize it, underline it, center it. Um, if you wanted to add um, bullet. If you wanted to add effects, available na rin siya, but I believe for a few people lang. And then letter, there you go. Okay, and then you can also group or ungroup 
um, elements. For example, this one, you wanted to group it so that mo move mo siya. And then position-wise here, pwedeng left, right, middle, nawala na siya. <laughs> Yan, back, no, or forward ulit. There. So, yan. And then, in terms of transparency naman, ayan. And then, you can also add a hyperlink. When you say hyperlink, let's say, for example, you wanted to put your Facebook profile link here. Pag, pag linik nyo yung apply, pag linik nila yung photo nyo, usually ginagawa to pag sa mga resume. And then, you wanted to add, for example, Facebook logo. For example, you want to put your Facebook account here. So instead na isulat yung Facebook link nyo, pwede nyo nalang i-copy-paste yung, let's say, Facebook account nyo. This is my Facebook account. By the way, you can always follow or message me if you have questions. So copy-paste nyo lang to. Ito yung URL na tinatawag. Center link, apply. Okay, tapos pag-click, pag sanayin nyo to as PDF, Ganito nyo siya isa-save as PDF. Kapag click nyo yung, F, uh, yung Facebook logo, okay na yun, no? So, let's see if you can find it. If you can see it. Ah, ayan, ayan. Add, uh, let me show you. Wait for a sec. Sorry about that. Here. So, this is the downloaded uh, resume with the Facebook icon. So, kapag clinic nyo yan, yung F, mapupunta siya sa Facebook nyo. Okay? <coughs> That's how you do it. Um, okay na ba ulit? Okay na ba? What's wrong with our signal? Ah, uh, okay na ba? Okay ba yung internet nat? Ay okay ba yung nawala? Nawala ako. I guess I need to check myself from time to time sa phone. Okay. Okay naman. I'm okay naman, I guess. Okay. Sige. Okay. So, we're good with that. Okay. So, that's, that's for Canva. And then, we also have Lumen 5. This is super interesting na. The reason why I'm sharing with you a lot of uh, multimedia tools is because magagamit nyo to when you create your resume, when you create your portfolio, not just for for specific social media or photo and video editing na mga jobs, but it can be used with a lot of jobs as well. No? So, sobrang importante nito. So, yeah. So, this is Lumen 5. So, ang mapoproduce nyo naman dito, this is so e this is easy to use lang. Demo ko lang saglit. Here. So, let's say for example, we can create a video here. And then, let's type a script here. Wait lang for a sec. Um, hanap ako ng, ano, ng text lang. Uh, please follow us sa ating website or visit our website. Especially kapag up na yung bago nating website. I'm just trying to copy-paste some wordings here. Let's say, for example, uh, there's for Facebook, there's for Instagram, and then Twitter, and Snapchat, YouTube. Say you wanted to choose this, and then may mga iba't ibang theme. For example, this one, you, this one. Ang konti pala ng text na nalilagay natin. That pala medyo mahaba. But anyway, ayan. 
So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. No? So, there you go. So, pwede kayo maglagay ng pictures. Pwede kayo maglagay ng photos. Ang style. And then, yung format nyo. Ayan. Diyan nyo siya pwedeng gawin. And then, pwede nyo na siyang mapanood. Okay. So, in less than 5 minutes, pwede kayo makapag-create ng videos. Okay? And then, another thing, you can also check po toon. And medyo mahal lang yung page na to, but if magiging interested kayo about creating um, animated videos such as this one, for example. Ayan. So, kung interested kayo mag-create ng ganito, you can create that in Photoon. Okay? Another thing is um, for, uh, for Canva Pro, there's an option for you to remove your background. But if you wanted to remove your background and hindi kayo naka Canva Pro, you can also use remove that BG. So, with remove that BG, for example, you wanted to remove your background. Let's say this one. This is my photo. So, here. Ayan. So, maririmove yung background nyo. And then, if you wanted naman to receive a background of your video clip, you can also do that. Let's see if we can have a one video here that we can use. And let's say this one. Let's try this one. There. Ayan. Ito lang yung nakuha. Ilang clip lang. But with, with this, you can add there. So, pwede nyo mapalitan yung background. Okay. There you go. So, natanggal niya na yung background. So, that's, that's, uh, that's how you can use these tools. So, what we can do is, if you are, um, if you plan to, to edit a particular photo or video sa kung ano mang uh, reason yan, you, you can just search, let's say, animate or cartoon an image. So, i-google nyo lang kung ano yung kailangan nyo. Tapos, magbibigay mag naman na sa inyo yan ng suggestions. Okay? So, i-google nyo lang. Pero, yun, yun na yung mga tools na pinaka-common na ginagamit for photo and video editing. Meron ding Filmora for video editing. So, you can also check that out. Okay? And then, uh, feel free to watch uh, the free webinar of Mami Katie uh, for her photo and video editing na class. So, uh, that's for multimedia. We also have Time Doctor. Time Doctor and a lot of other time tracking tools such as, let's check Time Doctor, let's check Time, let's check Toggle. Si Upwork, si onlinejobs.ph, and then si Hub, Hub Stuff, meron silang mga built-in na time tracker tools, okay? Or time tracking, tra time tracking system. So, for time doctor, ganito siya. Hindi ko, na, hindi ko na ipapakita yung loob mismo. But, yung itsura niya is ganito. And then, si client, mabibigyan siya ng report kung nakailang clicks ba kayo. For example, nakailang, uh, ay kung halimbawa, nag-login ba kayo, nag-log out ba kayo, nag-break kayo. So, dito rin, may mga time tracking tools rin na pwedeng doon na kayo sumahod, something like that, or papasahuran nila kayo. Or, kumbaga, may invoice na reporting doon, something like that. Time time uh, report, no? And for Toggle naman, you can use this for free. You can also suggest, let's say for the client, let's say for example, the client is looking for a time tracker na hindi ka kailanganin ng uh, screenshot and stuff like that, no? So, pwedeng time tracking lang talaga, log in, log out. You can suggest Toggle, T-O-G-G-L. Okay? May mga iba pang mga time tracking na mga tools na pwede ko pang i-recommend. But for now, okay na muna tayo dyan. And then for project management naman, ganito naman yung itsura ng Trello. Meron ding Asana. 
meron ding base camp. So, pare-pareho lang naman to magkakaiba lang na companies or magkakaiba lang na tools. No, but ako personally na experience ko lang is base camp. Never kong na-try yung Asana, but nire-recommend rin ng mga mummies. I use Trello. Trello is life. No, so this is base camp, ganyan. So, same lang sila halos pare-pareho ng features. This is Asana naman. Okay. And this is Trello. So, for Trello, for example, si client, meron siyang iba't ibang mga department. For example, for FH Moms, meron tayong marketing, may operations, business dev, events, no, sales. So, for example, uh, maghanap lang ako ng wala masyadong laman. Ito na lang. For example, yan. So, lagay, naglagay tayo dito ng Q1 or quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3. Tapos, if you wanted to add, let's say, for example, uh, top local businesses. Yan. So, pag in ko yan, magman magna-note dito sa activity kung ano-ano yung mga ginawa ng team. No? Tapos, pwede kong ma-move-move yan. Yan. So, ganyan, ganyan nag-work yung Trello. So, para saan ba tong Trello na to? For project management, meaning to say, kapag halimbawang may mga teams sa US and then may teams sa Philippines and then kailangan nilang maging aware sa ginagawa ng bawat isa, kailangan yung isang goal, eh, dapat pare-pareho sa lahat. So, yun. And then makita rin yung progress ng mga task. Okay? So, this is for task management. Same na rin with Basecamp and Asana. Same lang yan sila. For storage uh, and for other tools, I usually use, if it's uh, for signature, search nyo lang, live signature. Ayan. So, pwede na kayong makapirma dito. No, not that one. Ito. Ayan. So, dyan kayo pipirma. Okay? Tapos, save nyo lang. Kapag halimbawa naman kailangan yung mag-edit ng file, so any tools na gagamitin nyo, i-google nyo lang yun ng literal. So let's say, for example, you wanted to edit the file. Uh, let's say, uh, this file is kailangan yung pumirma or this is your job contract or your agreement, for example. Uh, hanap lang ako ng file na hindi sensitive. I'm really sorry. I have a lot of sensitive files here okay let's say for example this one i'm not sure what document is this ah yeah for example, this file, and then you wanted to sign. Yan. Yan. Siyempre, hindi ko yung pirma. Example lang. Yan. Ito, PDF editor yung gagamitin nyo. You wanted to, let's say, for example, you wanted to combine slide presentations. I-google nyo lang yan. Okay? Or you wanted to convert Word to okay, PDF to Word, for example. Ayan. So, may mga ano dyan, converter. No? So, lahat ng mga kailangan yung gawin, kailangan, tools na kailangan yung hanapin, search nyo lang. Isa pa palang uh, gusto kong i-add, tawag dito. Ito mga tools na to, these are the basic tools. Ito yung mga tools na paulit-ulit yung gagamitin sa lahat ng klase ng trabaho. So, sobrang dami ko nang naging trabaho in the past. Halos lahat na yata. Pero ang napansin ko, pare-pareho ng communication tools, pare-pareho ng mga admin tools na multimedia na kailangan gamitin. Itong mga productivity tools natin, ito talaga yung magsusupport sa inyo sa work nyo. So, ito yung mga tools, including storage, which is Dropbox. Uh, ito yung mga tools na basic. Basic lang. So, when, when we say basic, lahat ng klase ng jobs, ito yung possible na gamitin. Sure. Actually, 100% ako sure na mayroong isa sa mga tool ang gagamitin niya sa job niyo. Yung mga tools naman na specific for the job, for example, social media tools, hanapin niyo yun. Uh, for accounting, we have QuickBooks, di ba? So, ito yung mga specific na, na syempre, hindi ko na madidiscuss dahil aabutin tayo ng sham-sham. Dahil sobrang dami ring tools. Ayan, no, for social media, may 33 na tools. Pero hindi naman lahat yan gagamitin kasi yung iba, pare-pareho lang na gamit. 
eto pala nakalimutan kong i-discuss for example for uh for password security or for for password sharing there's last pass no so sobrang dami for scheduling ng mga post there's hootsuite no so for analytics iba din for quickbooks ayan quickbooks and then merong zero for photo and video editing lalo na sobrang daming iba't ibang tools aside from canva may photoshop meron ding uh, if you want to check another a uh, tool similar with Canva, you can check Easil. And then for photo and video editing or photo na pwedeng gamitin for ads, there's Ofeo. Okay. Okay, so yan yung mga tools. So may mga tools na specific for the job na kailangan yung, yun yung alamin nyo. Okay, yun yung i-research nyo. All right. So, we're good with the tools. I hope nag-enjoy kayo niyan. Isa pa sa gusto kong i-discuss is about the employee versus entrepreneur na mindset of a freelancer. Why do we have uh, why do we have to have this entrepreneur na mindset, no? So, us, tayo mga Pinoy, uh, pinalaki tayo sa idea na kailangan makapag, makapagtapos ng pag-aaral para makapagtrabaho uh, at kumita ng maayos, no? And dala natin to kahit na nag-work from home na tayo, feeling pa rin natin employee tayo. Pero think about it. Lalo na sa mga may work from home na job na, hindi na kayo yung dati na parang sunod-sunuran lang kung ano yung sabihin ng employer or ng client nyo, yun lang. Ngayon na working from home na kayo, meron na kayong say, pwede kayo makipag-debate uh, kay client, pwede kayo na mag-suggest. Nagmamatter na lahat ng mga sinasabi nyo sa kanila. Uh, it's because kayo na yung nagpapatakbo halos ng company, ng business niya. Kayo na yung may alam ng pasikot-sikot. Kaya naniniwala sila sa inyo. So, uh, with that kind of position na meron na kayo sa mga online job niyo, isipin niyo palagi na you are no longer working uh, for them, but you are working with them. So, magkaiba yun. You work with them para sa business nila. You're like a partner to them. no? So, make sure na dapat entrepreneur yung mindset natin. We're in, we're helping them na maging successful. Alright? So, uh, still, uh, you can say na you're an employee and all that, pero I want you to have this entrepreneur mindset. Why? Because maraming mga work from home moms natin ang nag-start, let's say, e-commerce virtual assistant sila, and then eventually, nagkakaroon na sila ng sarili na lang e-commerce business na sarili nila, na sila na yung boss. Okay? So, I want you na ituloy-tuloy yung ganyang klase ng mindset para sa kinabukasan. And of course, don't forget FH Moms and our support system. We have monthly free webinars. Aside from this uh, FH Moms webinar, you can also check uh, Philippine Home Based Moms page. One. And then, try to check our events page here. So, this is the webinar for today. And then, uh, kailan ba to? And then, we have a free webinar about uh, vir virtual assistance. And then, we have a feedback day. So, for feedback day natin, for social media and job site profile, I will ask you to comment down your uh, social media and job site na profile by, when is this? May 9. And then May 10, I will ask you to post your resume and cover letter. Okay, so you also have a free webinar with uh, content writing with basic SEO with Mami Karin, local and international e-commerce with Mami Regine, photo and video editing with Mami Katie, uh, photo, uh, social media management and marketing with Mami Janelle, and then Accounting and bookkeeping natin and lead generation right now naka-hold kasi buntis tong mga mami natin. But of course, general orientation uh, kapag halimbaw, uh, kapag mag-start na yung classes natin. No, na one month natin na program. So this is where you can find our events online. Alright? And let's go back to our training. So these are the things na pwede yung makuha or ma avail sa FH Moms. May mga video tutorials tayo aside from this free webinar tips and then blogs. You can just visit fhmoms.com and then training and apprenticeship na program. We also have a computer rent-to-own program. Meaning to say, pwede kayo makapag-avail ng desktop computer with uh, 
with the help of the group in partnership with ROG Philippines. However, right now, naka-hold siya kasi may mga inaayos pa kami sa process. We also have a BPO client and uh, agency partners uh, na pwede kayong mag-apply at pwede namin kayong i-connect. Okay, so that's how we do things in FH Moms. And yun, sa uh, pag-usapan naman natin tong online job scam or yung mga red flags, no? Never ever magbibigay ng sensitive information na nare-require nila. Mag maging uh, vigilant tayo pagdating sa pagbibigay ng ID, ng birthday, ng full name nyo, ng address nyo, ng birthday nyo, lahat ng pwede nilang gamitin to hack your accounts. So lahat ng mga binibigay nyo, let's say middle name, first, sa stuff like that, Huwag niyo ibibigay lalo na kung hindi niyo trusted or hindi niyo kakilala yung pagbibigyan niyo. Let's say yung client na first time niyo lang ma-meet, something like that. So, yan. Sensitive information, wag na wag. And then, i-double check niyo rin yung, kung yung ginagamit na account ng client is personal na email when sinabi niya na established na siya. So, pag sinabi nating established niya, big sabihin may website na yan. So, pag may website na yan, dapat ang Email niyan is work email na. So, pag sinabi natin work email, for example, mk at fhmoms.com o kaya mk at abc.com, something like that. So, dapat kapag sinabi niyang CEO siya ng ganitong company, at least man lang may sarili siyang work email niya. And then, of course, kapag fake yung identity, paano niyo malalaman if fake yung identity? Hindi naman porket, Uh, wala siyang profile picture effect na agad, no? Pero syempre, isang puntos yun or isang uh, clue dun yun sa inyo, go signal na mag-check ng profile niya. So, pag nakita niya kung walang picture o kaya kung may picture man pero parang galing lang sa Google, what you can do is to go to Google image tapos i-upload nyo yung image na yun tapos lalabas yung kanyang mga related na photos. Let's, let's try to do that. Para ma makita nyo. So, it, ito yung Google Images. Ika-click nyo lang yung photo. Tapos, upload nyo yung image. For example, yung image ko ulit. Titingnan natin kung scam ako. Tapos, syempre, i-check nyo rin siya sa, uh, syempre, ito. Amazing. Okay. So, nakita niya yung LinkedIn ko na mga slides. So, this is so this is one of the uh, sample works na meron ako na sinave ko sa slide share. I'm so glad naglagay ako. At least, alam nang kung sino ma mag-check using my photo. This is the social media marketing plan that, that I used to send to my clients as my uh, portfolio. See? Ayan. Buti na lang. Buti na lang. Yung profile photo ko is ayun. <laughs> diba? So, super nice. Yeah, hey, hindi ako scam. And it says here, I'm a girl. Okay. So, that, that is why it's important to create a LinkedIn account then. <laughs> Kasi pagdating sa yung mga ganong kailangan i-search, ba isa-search kayo, makikita nila talaga kayo. Okay? Uh, payment is required and too good to be true. Okay? So, kapag the reason why sinend ko sa inyo kanina yung freeup.com slash uh, pricing natin na at least man lang meron kayong pag-checkan ng Uh, range for the salary. Para kapag nagsabi ng uh, let's say sinabi niya sa inyo $500 per hour. ba? Diba? Or $1,000 per hour. Ganyan. So, yung mga ganun, too good to be true yun. Sobrang laki naman na nun. Pwede, pwede pa yung $20. Ganyan. Or $15. No? Uh, usually, makikita niya naman mga $4 yung offer, $8. Ganyan. So, Uh, yun yung masasabi natin na uh, common sa market. What you can do is to search sa mga job postings, i-check nyo kung ano yung mga common na range for the salary para may idea kayo kung ano yung usual na ino-offer, right? So, yun. 
So, ano na tayo, malapit na tayo matapos. Uh, tapusin natin to in ilang minutes na lang. Since uh, hindi ko na rin yata kakayanin masyado, I hope naririnig niya pa. Can you still see my screen? I can see my screen. Ibig sabihin, it's not on my end. It's on your end. Okay. Lumen has a Lumen Five as a payment. However, sa dulo lang yung kanyang sa dulo lang yung watermark. Uh, for Canva, it's free. However, if you wanted to avail yung additional na features na wala sa free, that's the time that you can have it uh, upgraded. Okay. Clockify is good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Tutoring sites, nangihingi sila ng ID. It's okay if the tutoring site is legit and if you trust them. But I highly suggest na maging maingat sa pagsasend ng mga IDs online. Okay? Huwag masyadong send ng send pag hiningi send agad. Okay? Maybe ask for the reason why they are asking for your ID. Kasi mga identity theft kayo. You can also Google pala like the different online scam. Not just online job scam, but online scam. Let's say yung mga nare-receive natin sa email na i-click nyo to, i-click nyo yan, ganyan. Online scams. So sobrang daming internet fraud, okay? Okay, so let's move on now with our onlinejobs.ph profile. To create a profile in onlinejobs.ph, just go to onlinejobs.ph. <laughs> and then, sign up if you're uh, first time. And then make sure to click I want to work. Okay, and then fill in full name, email address, password, uh so, ganyan. Okay? Make sure to register as a as an applicant, not an employer. If you want to hire, then you can create an account by choosing this one. But if you wanted to find the job, make sure na this one. So, kailangan nag, nagbabasa tayo. Okay? Hindi lang basta register ng register. And then, if you're good to sign up, then you can sign up. Trying to open my account here. Here. So, uh, with our online jobs that page na ako, but may mga nag invite pa sa akin. Okay. So, with your online jobs that page na account, it's important na maglagay ng maayos na profile photo. Why? Because ito yung unang-unang check ng client nyo. Pag wala kayong profile photo, magtataka sila. Baka hindi kayo ready mag-apply baka scammer din kayo, stuff like that. So, important na may picture. Dapat masaya tayo sa picture or at least man lang maaliwalas. Either naayos yung hair, may konting makeup, pero kung hindi naman, sa bahay lang, basta clear yung background. And tinuro ko na rin sa inyo yung remove that PG. So, kung hindi ganun kagandahan yung background, maybe it's time to edit your photo. Okay? And then, when it comes to your name, it's important that you use your real name. Why? Kasi kapag nagka-problema kayo sa onlinejobs.ph na account nyo at binerify ni onlinejobs.ph yung identity nyo at nagbigay kayo ng ID at hindi nag-match yun, hindi nila kayo tutulungan. Okay? That's why it's important to use your real name whenever you create any account, not just with onlinejobs.ph but with, with um, other sites as well as payment method nyo, of course, with your PayPal, please, please, please use your real name. If you're using your, if you're using a name that is not real in your Facebook account, magkaka-problem din kayo. Why? Uh, here in onlinejobs.ph, you can connect with Facebook account. This button will connect your Facebook account in with, in your onlinejobs.ph na account. Meaning to say, uh, Si Facebook kasi yung security measures niyan nila sobrang solid din. So if 
uh, online jobs that PH will be connected in your Facebook profile, then magkakaroon ng added security si profile nyo. And if nakita nila na bago lang kayo sa Facebook, tapos new friends lang din and all that, pwede niyang isipin na troll kayo. And uh, hindi nila kayo bibigyan ng mataas na ID proof. Ano naman tong ID proof? Itong ID proof, ayan, sabi, online jobs, ID proof indicate, indicates if they are who they say they are. Okay? Kaya may pag-connect sa Facebook. So, for example, kapag hindi nga nag-match yung real name nyo or yung identity nyo, what will happen, bibigyan nila kayo ng mababang ID proof. Okay? So, para makita yan ng client kung kayo naman ay legit. Okay? Pagdating sa salary, it's up to you kung, oh my God, wait lang for a sec. Oops, oops. Pagdating naman sa, so you can know more about ID proof here. So, wag rin masyadong edit ng edit kasi na natatrack din yung system yun kapag edit kayo ng edit ng profile nyo, babawasan nyo rin yung ID proof nyo. So, isa pa para naman mas maliwanagan kayo gaano ka-importante itong ID proof. Let's say, for example, merong isang job posting, ang ID proof niya is 80, tapos ang ID proof nyo ay 70. Hindi kayo makakapag-apply kasi hindi pumasok dun sa ID proof na requirement ni client yung ID proof nyo. Okay? So, ganun siya. Kaya sobrang importante nitong ID proof na to. Pagdating naman sa salary natin, it's up to you kung ano yung ilalagay nyo dyan. You, you can add 20,000 pesos per month. Hindi porket nilagay nyo 20,000 or 50,000 per month, yun na yung inyong sahod. Hindi. Expected, ano lang yan, expected salary nyo lang rin. And then also para makita ni client kung magkano yung asking nyo. Okay? But then again, hindi yan yung ipapasahod sa inyo agad-agad. Ilalagay nyo lang yan dyan. Ano naman yung pwede nyong isipin? Tatandaan nyo na kapag gagawa kayo ng profile, ng social media account at ng kung ano-ano mang documents yan, iisipin nyo palagi kung ano yung iisipin ng client pag nakita nila yun. So pag alimbawa nakita nila na uh, 50,000 50, 50, pesos per month yan or let's say... $1,000 nga, and then ang budget nila is $500 lang, for example. Hindi syempre, makikipag-hagel yan. Magtatanong sa inyo kung pwede bang mas mababa. Example lang. Pero kapag halimbawa namang $20,000 lang yung nilagay nyo and all that, sakto sa budget nila, then wala, no questions asked. Either i-hire nyo na kayo agad or pa-interview, pero at least smooth lang yung sa salary negotiation. Pagdating sa salary negotiation, hindi nyo kailangan pababain yung sarili nyo and all that kasi nagmamatter yung uh, task na ipapagawa niya, yung oras and all that pagdating sa pricing. So, soon siguro pwede namin kayong maturuan about negotiation but right now, try to explore muna kahit kayo lang. Education na... Kapag hindi kayo graduate or undergrad kayo, katulad ko nakalagay dyan, high school diploma, pero wala naman pa kayong mga clients dyan. Okay? Availability up to you if you want to add full-time or part-time. Pag experience naman, please pakilagay. Kung maglalagay kayo ng experience, maglalagay kayo ng title, make sure na yung target online job nyo. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi nyo pa siya uh, work, or wala pa kayong experience doon, eh hindi nyo na pwedeng ilagay. Okay? Ang tawag dito, optimization. Pag sinabing optimization, ina-optimize nyo yung profile nyo para uh, kapag si client naghanap ng virtual assistant, makikita niya kayo. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin, uh, gumawa kayo or ilagay nyo, identify nyo yung title nyo sa trabaho, you can add one adjective and then kung ano yung role. For example, yan, highly skilled customer service, virtual assistants, and social media. Highly skilled in social media or pwedeng highly skilled virtual assistant, something like that. And then for the experience, kung maglalagay kayo ng experience dito, either hindi nyo pa siya job or pinag-aaralan nyo pa lang siya, ilagay nyo na yung pinag-aaralan nyo na mas pasok dun sa trabaho na gusto nyo, no? Kung hindi naman siya pasok sa ina-applyan nyo right now, let's say registered nurse kayo or whatever, isummarize nyo na lang dyan. Halimbawa, three years 
in uh, food business. Three years in food business and customer service. Something like that. Okay? I-combine nyo na rin siya. Huwag nyo na siyang three years in food business, two years in whatever. I-combine nyo na yung buong industry. Yung buong working experience nyo. Kasi maiksi lang tong part na to. Dito nyo siya pwedeng i-elaborate. Okay? Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo sa ang part. Ito naman yung mga test scores. Uh, test scores nyo na screenshot. No? Pero kung hindi pa nyo natitake yan, dito nyo siya pwedeng i-take. Okay? Ayan, IQ test, English test, this personality test, napakadali lang yan, okay? I mean, mabilis nyo lang yan magawa. 15 to 20 minute lang yan na test, okay? Kapag hindi rin mataas yung score, pwede nyo rin siyang i-retake, okay? Reassuring. Okay. Anong sabi dito? Expresses, which answer expresses the same meaning of the specified word best? Okay, so sasagutin nyo lang siya, tapos 10 items lang pala to. And then for ilang minutes lang. Ito naman, ganun din. For grammar, ito naman, this personality test nyo. So, wala naman tama or mali dito. I-identify lang nyo yung personality test nyo. Okay? So, we're good with that. Pag okay na, screenshot, isa pa pala, mag-download kayo ng LightShot Chrome extension para makapag-screenshot kayo ng mga bagay-bagay. Okay, so download nyo yan. Tapos nakalagay dyan, add to Chrome. Tapos aakit siya dito. Ito na siya. Okay, so kapag halimbawa mag-screenshot kayo ng image, for example, this one. Let's say ito na yung test result nyo. Okay, wait lang. Let's say this is your test result. Click nyo yan. Tapos huwag nyo na isama yung mga unrelated na mga images or ads. Yung mismong test result lang. Okay, tapos yan, mapipicturan nyo na yung screen nyo. Ginamit natin dyan, light shot. Okay, di ba sa phone, merong option to screenshot? So, ganun din. So, balik tayo dyan sa onlinejobs.ph. Sorry, yung voice ko medyo pababa na ng konti. Nahihilo na ako. Sobrang wrong timing ng pagkain ko. Nang sardinas. There is no average for the ID proof. Okay? Walang average. Pero it's better to get at least 80 MB, 80 MBPS. Labo-labo na. 80 ID proof or ID score. Uh, kasi meron naman ding mga client na nagsiset ng 0 for, for the ID proof. No? Or 50. Pero para lang safe, at least 80 na ID proof or, 7, or 70, pwede rin. Depende. Wala, wala, wala talagang ano. Wala talagang standard. Okay? Sige. So, with that, we're good with that. Next natin would be... So, make sure... So, yan, meron na nag-add na sila ng, ano, essential education or mga blog siguro to. And then, what you can do is to subscribe to their newsletter. Ano naman tong newsletter na to? Uh, papapiliin nila kayo kung ano yung mga job postings na gusto nyong ma-receive. Tapos, ma-receive nyo yan sa email. No? Ibig sabihin, matanotify kayo agad kapag may bagong pasok na trabaho. Okay? And then, time proof. Ayan, meron din silang time tracking. Kapag halimbawang si client, tinag kayo as full-time nila na employee, eh, uh, employee, papasok yun dito kung kailan nila kayo hinire. No? Ganyan. Meron kayong option to delete that. No? However, manonotify si client. Let's say, for example, ang gusto nyo mangyari, eh, i-delete nyo para makapag-apply kayo sa ibang job. Then, manonotify si client. So, it's best if you're working part-time and you wanted to apply for other jobs, inform your client. Be honest to them na yung pinapasahod nila is hindi enough with your family's expenses. Then, maybe pwede niyang i-increase. Or they can allow you to find other part-time jobs since part-time lang kayo with them. Instead na i-X nyo lang siya or tanggalin nyo lang siya na manonotify din sila. Okay? So, those are the things na kailangan yung maintindihan about onlinejobs.ph. Meron rin tayong tinatawag na bookmark job posts. Merong mga trabaho, let's say, punta tayo dito sa job board. 
na pag binookmark niya, mapupunta sila dito, ibig sabihin, pwede niya silang balikan. Ano naman tong unread na mga messages natin? So, dito naman pumapasok lahat ng mga messages nyo. Ang pinaka-recent na message ko is April 17. A client is inviting me for a position of project manager. Uh, someone messaged me in... Hold on for a sec. Okay. Sorry about that. Meron akong message. Dito rin makikita yung mga reply ko. So, for example, this one I replied. This is my cover letter. So, didiscuss natin yan later on. As you can see here, ang dami ko nang in-apply yan. Sobra, sobra, sobrang dami. So, check natin yan. Okay? So, we're good with that. Pakita ko naman sa inyo yung job board na. So, this is your job board. So, what you can see here are the latest na mga job postings. Okay? So, ito naman yung mga category. For the category, you can see here office and admin, English writing, may 8,000 plus na available jobs. Let's try to click this one. Okay, so what you can do, ako, ang pinaka-trick ko sa inyo, ang tip ko sa inyo, kapag halimbawa nag a apply kayo for email support, for example, try to search email support na keyword, you can also search email lang na keyword para walang losot. And then yun lang yung labi-gabi yung i-check. When it comes to application, hindi, hindi lang dapat sa resume, cover letter, Sa profile niya nakasalalay yung pag apply sa trabaho. Ho? Oh, kasi uh, nagmamater rin yung oras ng pag apply nyo. So, kung nag apply kayo ng madaling araw, let's say 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. when pumapasok ang mga job postings ng 9 p.m. to 12 midnight, eh huli na kayo. Okay? Ibig sabihin, dapat mapag-aralan nyo, i-observe nyo kung kailan pumapasok yung mga job postings na binabantayan nyo. Okay? Pag nakita nyo na may bagong job posting, apply agad. Dapat masend nyo agad yung application letter nyo, pati yung resume nyo, para makita agad nung client. Kasi kapag natabu na na yan, sa libo-libo na mag apply hindi na kayo consider or baka hindi na makaabot yung pagre-review sa inyo. May mahay na siya kaagad. Okay? Ganun kabilis. So, nagmamatter ang time, nagmamatter yung maayos na resume and cover letter, pati profile nyo. Okay? So, for the job category, you can choose pa rin naman or you can add whatever you want to add in here kung gusto nyo full time and then refine resort results. Okay? So, yan. Ganyan ko ginagawa yung paghahanap ng work. So, after nyan, let's say for example, we considered, let's say, this job. Example lang, this job. Okay, so let's try to assess this job ad. Virtual PA or technical data entry email management. It was posted April 30, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay lang naman applyan yung mga 5 days ago, 10 days ago, 1 month ago. Wag lang yung 1 year ago, sobrang tagal na nun. Pero kapag open pa rin siya and then 1 month ago na siya, then... Pwede pa nating applyan. So meron kayong 10 times or 10 na application per day na pwedeng i-send sa onlinejobs.ph. We're talking about just onlinejobs.ph kasi ito na yung pinakamadaling platform na pwede niyo pag-applyan na hindi kayo mai-stress. Makinig kayo sa akin, okay? Kung gusto niyo ma-stress, sige, gumawa kayo ng gumawa sa ibang ibang profile, uh, ibang website, okay? Mababombard lang kayo, hindi, hindi kayo makakapag-focus. Dapat focus lang muna sa isa. Kapag naubos nyo na or sa tingin nyo wala na kayong ma-applyan sa online jobs at PH, that is the only time na mag a kayo sa ibang job matching platforms. Okay? As you can see here, nakalagay naman na part-time kung full-time. Full-time, 5 hours per hour. ID proof is 60. So kung, kung 50 yung ID proof nyo, makakalagay dyan. You cannot apply for this uh, job because of your ID proof. Ganyan. So, as you can see here, may job overview siya. Ito ay sinulat mismo ni client. Kapag gagawa kayo ng cover letter nyo, 
kung halimbawang naglagay siya ng questions na nakabullet point, dapat, or at least man lang yung reply nyo is nakabullet din to answer each point na sinasabi niya. Try to mirror, pag sinabing mirror, gagayahin nyo, hindi niya namang gayang-gaya yung pagkakasabi yung words niya, but yung tone niya, yung mga words na ginagamit niya, ipapareho nyo. Okay, dun sa kung way niya ng pagsulat niya. Para at least, hindi siya mahirapan din. And at the same time, i-consider niya yung application niyo kasi nakikita niya na same kayo ng writing style. At least, man lang. No? So, yan. You will be a VA to an owner of executive recruitment business. So, sinabi niya rito kung anong klaseng business. Sinabi niya rin na nasa UK. So, maybe you can try to research na about UK clients, about UK people, di ba? And then the main requirement is for someone to manage a database to ensure that all records and contacts have to date, have up to date email addresses. Okay, so nagbanggit rin dito ng tool, Mailchimp. Then Mailchimp is an email marketing tool naman. So maybe you can research about email marketing or Mailchimp already. Okay, that's so easy to use. Si Mami Christine of our Uh, general virtual assistance class, ay tinuturo rin ito. Okay? So, sobrang easy nga. You can also find video tutorials in YouTube. Okay? Okay? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, following a one-month trial, this will become a permanent role. So, merong, uh, merong trial na one month si, si client, no? Meaning to say, gusto niya munang itest kung okay yung magiging working relationship niyo. Okay, so very straightforward naman tong gusto ni client. Ayan yung mga skills na gusto niya. As you can see here, number one sa kanya yung attitude. Kaya kung masama o galing niya, huwag na kayo mag-apply. Joke lang. <laughs> Dapat ano, ang skill, ang attitude towards online job is number one, I believe dapat loyal tayo sa kanila. When you say loyal, dapat lahat ng mga pinapagawa nila, let's do our best na gumagawa ng tama. If we can stick to just one client, much better. If not naman, if you're, you're gonna get another client or pagsasabay nyo silang dalawa, dapat magagawa nyo ng maayos yung work. But definitely, gusto nila yung hardworking. Tayo namang mga Pinoy, hardworking talaga tayo. Pero um, gusto nila proactive. Not just hardworking, but proactive. Pag sinabi natin proactive, hindi pa nila naiisip, dapat naiisip na natin. Ganon tayo. Dapat ginagawa na natin ng paraan. Tapos, pinapaalam na lang natin sa kanila kung ano yung mga gusto natin gawin for their business. Okay? Dapat ganun yung proper mindset or proper attitude, uh, key qualities na meron tayo. No? Uh, proficient English skills. Kung magtatanong naman kayo kung kailangan ng uh, accent, kailangan na magaling mag-English, bla bla bla. Kailangan nyo lang yan to communicate with your client if hindi naman kayo magko-calls, no? So, as you can see here, okay na to. Play na natin to. Please send your CV and answer this question. Why are you interested in this role? So, please take note na may mga job postings na nakalagay dyan na uh, sagutan nyo to, sagutan nyo yan. Gusto ko sa uh, application nyo ang nakalagay na subject, ilagay nyo yung favorite color nyo, ganyan. O kaya, sagutan nyo tong equation na to. Tapos pagdating sa dulo, lulituin lang kayo. Sasabihin na, ay, wag na pala ilagay yung, sit, yung answer sa equation. Ilagay mo na lang pala yung favorite book, uh, book mo, for example. Okay? So, gets nyo. Ang reason bakit may mga clients na may mga special na mga instructions sa job post nila is para lituin kayo, para i-check kung binabasa nyo ba talaga yung job posting. Okay? Kaya make sure na babasahin nyo. Basahin nyo. Medyo pag nilay-nilayan nyo muna yung job posting bago nyo isend yung template na ginawa nyo for your cover letter. At pagdating sa cover letter, kahit na meron kayong template na ginawa, kahit may makita kayong template sa FH Moms and gumawa kayo ng sarili nyong template, dapat gagawa pa rin kayo or i-edit nyo pa rin yan. Okay? Pagdating sa application nyo. So kapag okay na yan, apply for this job. Click nyo yan, ilagay nyo sa subject line kapag walang other special instructions, pwede nyo ilagay. Pwede kayo maging, maging creative pa sa paglalagay ng subject. I don't know, maybe you can write here, I'm your next virtual assistant or something na catchy. I'm your next virtual assistant, for example. 
or kung ano man, read, read this, whatever. Kung ano man gusto nyong ilagay. Okay? So, pero kapag gusto nyo naman, simple lang, lagay nyo dyan, virtual assistant. Copy nyo yung dito niya. Yan. For example, yan. Tapos, i-copy-paste nyo. Tapos, application. Ganyan nyo siya. Yan. Ganyan. Tapos, yung cover letter naman natin, dito naman natin siya ilalagay. Okay? And then, our contact information. Tapos, send email. So, balikan ko lang yung slide presentation ko para sabay na natin tong gawin. Okay? Okay pa ba kayo dyan? Wait lang. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, sabog na sabog na ako. Diyos ko. Hindi ko kinaya yung antihistamin natin. Okay, sige. Answer lang ang questions. Uh, meron po bang notification yung onlinejobs.ph that spamming applications with same cover letter? Mm, I'll check check about that. Pero if that's the case, maybe you can be extra careful when it comes to sending um, templated cover letter, no? Kasi baka nga maban. Matagal na kasi akong hindi nag apply sa onlinejobs.ph. But if the other moms in our group can confirm na may naban na sa kanila ng online jobs that teach, then we can say na nang baban nga sila. But if, but if wala naman, then uh, no need to worry about it. No, just just be careful in sending templated uh, uh, applications. Alright? I just need to get water. Super nauuhaw na ako. Just give me like a one minute lang na break. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. I feel better now. Medyo hindi na, hindi na ako kinakati unlike kanina. <laughs> medyo na-distract din ako kasi kamot ako ng kamot. So, at least medyo okay na tayo right now. Konting-konti na lang. Malapit na rin tayo matapos. Kapit lang. Don't you worry. Okay? So, Okay, let's try to answer a few of your questions here well, uh, before I move on to our next topic. Minsan po meron notif yung OLJ that's spamming applications. Ah, ay, nasagot ko na pala to. Minsan may mga notifications, ibig sabihin may mga reminders lang si onlinejobs.ph na huwag nyo gawin to, huwag nyo gawin yan kasi ganito, blah, blah, blah. Pero, based on my experience, merong isang client na nakikita niya na, let's say, na... Basta maroon silang nakikita rin nila on, our, on their end na itong client na to, ay itong employee na to, may ganitong feedback from from a previous client, for example. So, with that, pwede nyong i-double check with online jobs that PH on kung ano yung nakikita ng client na concerned nila with you, no? Yes, make reading a habit. Is it advisable to create multiple resumes customized according to the job description posted? Yes. It is advisable to create uh, different templates for your resume. So you can also create uh, a resume in a general for all the skills that you have. That's that's one. So it's up to you. It's up to you talaga if you wanted na general, if you wanted na uh, specific for the position. No? Ako kasi, I, uh, what I send is yung general ko na resume for all the skills na meron ako. Tapos nilagyan ko na lang sila ng sections. Okay? Gumagamit din ba ng Spotfire application in making graphs for their slides? 
I don't know about Spotfire. I just uh, I just use Canva for my for for my slide presentation. I don't use Spotfire. Makaka-apekto po ba yung ID proof if yung ilagay mo sa email onlinejobs.ph is different? Hindi naman. I don't think ganun sila ka -streak. Basta ang nakaka-affect lang na nakikita ko would be your name and then yung profile mo if kung bago ba, bago ba yung friends, onti ba yung friends, ganun. Kasi dun lang naman din malalaman if troll yung account. So if you will check then, for example, if you will spy or if you will stalk other people's account to know if they are legit or not, una natin titignan yung profile picture, yung pangalan, yung post niya, yung friends niya, kung ilan ba, something like that. So, parang ganun lang din yung ginagawa nila. Okay. I have been added to this group by my friend Shirley, running for student of the year award here. Ha? Yeah, so Mami uh, Shirley is actually one of the students natin na nag-enroll uh, nag sa halos lahat ng online courses na sa FH Moms. I am a seafarer for 14 years, guest services background, and I never had a chance to really sit and watch your webinars. Glad I can do it now since all the cruise ships are from sailing and there is no work at home. Ah, work. Sobrang sabog na talaga ako. Work at the moment. I am planning to enroll for social media course. Well, yan, mami. Uh, tawag dito. Sobrang uh, thank you for tuning in. I know uh, medyo hindi naging maganda yung takbo natin kanina because of the technical issues. Glad medyo nakabawi-bawi tayo and I'm okay na yung bumaba na yung level ng uh, ng antihistamine so lalabanan ko na lang para hindi ako makatulog. Uh, Mami MK, dapat po ba may laptop talaga kapag mag-e-enroll sa courses? For the online courses naman, we, you don't have to have the, the complete equipments na pero we really wanted you to provide or to be able to provide your equipment even during the training para mapag-practice na yung mga task. Kasi may mga task kasi tayo sa FH Moms na kailangan yung gawin uh, para matulungan na rin namin kayo with your portfolio. And then eventually, kapag may mga clients na na ready kayo to hire, at least ma-avail ma or makakapag-apply na kayo agad doon. Kasi kung hindi kayo gagamit ng desktop or laptop, at gagamitin nyo yung phone nyo, imagine din nyo, ama, mapapanood nyo lang videos lang. Tapos kapag halimbawang may task na hindi nyo na siya magagawa, especially for photo and video editing, for example, uh, kailangan nun medyo heavy na equipment specs kasi photos yun and videos yun, mauubos yung, yung memory nyo or yung space. Okay? So, kaya importante yun. Okay. Sige. So yeah, let's go back to our slide presentation. Okay, so uh, review na lang tayo. Again, this is your online jobs.ph profile na main. So for the skill summary, dapat ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Ganito naman yung itsura niya. I forgot to, to show you yung sa skill summary. Hold on for a sec. It's not showing me. Here. There. So, this is your skill summary. Ano ba tong skill summary na to? Diba? Yan. Skill summary. So, for your skill summary, um, hindi kayo mag makakapaglagay sa online jobs.ph ng website link, ng Facebook profile link, ng social media links, ng uh, link ng inyong resume. Okay. So, words lang talaga to. And then, kapag naglagay kayo ng link dyan, ibiblurred lang nila. E, jajumbled nila, tapos uh, ibiblurred. Okay? So, wag na lang din kayo maglagay. Kasi for your security din yun, no? Yun yung iniisip ni uh, onlinejobs.ph. And then, ayaw din nila na lumabas kayo sa platform or ayaw nilang lumabas si client sa platform. Kaya iniiwasan nila yung mga ganong klase ng link sa profile niya pa lang. Gusto nila sa message pa rin mag-message si client sa inyo. Para syempre, matrack din nila. Okay? So, ano ba ang pwede niyong magawa pagdating sa uh, pagsusulat niya ng skill summary? Marami sa atin ang hindi confident sa pagsusulat. Marami ang hindi confident at hindi rin alam kung 
ano ang sasabihin dito sa skill summary nito or overview or profile kung tawagin sa iba't ibang mga platform, no? So, what I did nung newbie ako, dahil hindi ko rin alam, wala rin tumulong sa akin, hindi ko rin alam kung uh, ano ba yung mga dapat na nakalagay dito. Ang ginawa ko po, nag-search po ako sa onlinejobs.ph and then sa Upwork at sa ibang mga job sites, ano yung nilalagay ng mga ibang freelancers? So, yung mga ibang competitors or kalaban ko, di ba? So, tinignan ko, inobserve ko kung ano yung mga pinaglalagay nila hanggang sa makapagkamap ako ng sarili ko. Siguro may mga ilang lines doon na ginawa kong inspiration, di ba? So, pinag-ipon-ipon ko lang sila. Hanggang sa makapag-come-up ako ng talagang sarili ko na, na wordings ko. Okay? So, uh, ganito ko siya sinimulan. Pag halimbawa nag-check rin kayo, ginaya nyo rin yung ginawa ko. Makikita nyo sa Upwork, may mga naglalagay doon na, Hi, I'm MK. I'm from the Philippines. Diya, ganun pa yan sila. The reason why nilalagay nila na from the Philippines nila is because kilala ang Pinoy na talagang magaling pagdating sa mga ganitong virtual work, no? So, kilalang kilala tayo sa virtual assistance na field. Um, and the reason why nilagay yan ng mga Pinoy doon is because, uh, yun nga, uh, may mga clients na naghahanap ng Pinoy talaga and then para ma-heads up niya na rin sila na Pinoy kayo, no? Kung interested sila maghanap ng client ng employees nila based in the US, then hindi na nila kayo i-consider and all that, di ba? Pero isa sa mga dahilan bakit nilagay nila yon is because uh, hindi sila, ay, yung platform is open to everyone. Like, any nationality pwede mag-join sa Upwork. Pero sa online jobs that PH, given na yan na ang mga pagkakreate ng profile dyan ay mga Pinoy. So, I don't think it's necessary to add, I'm a Filipino. Gets nyo ba? <laughs> so, sayang lang siya sa ano, sayang lang siya sa words na gagamitin. As much as possible, kung pwedeng isang paragraph lang, better. Pwedeng dalawang paragraph or pwedeng few lines lang. Pero wag naman sobrang ikse, wag rin sobrang haba. Yun tama lang. Pwede rin kayo maglagay ng uh, ng bullets or may mga bullet points kayo. Pwede rin yun. And also, make sure na yung capitalization, yung spelling. Isa pa pala, nakalimutan ko sa tools. Mag-download kayo ng Grammarly Chrome. Sa Chrome. Grammarly for Chrome. Ayan. Tapos, i-download nyo. Add to Chrome. So, pag na-add siya, pupunta siya dito. Ayan, green. Para saan ba to? So, pag gumawa kayo ng grammar, ng profile nyo sa onlinejobs.ph at magsusulat na kayo, either sa cover letter yan or dito sa skill summary, no? Let's say, for example, gagawa tayo ng email dito at ilalagay mo dyan, Hi, Mark. Let's say, maliin natin, this is MK, for example lang. So, siyempre, may nali niya pa rin, di ba? Mali pa rin. Ano pa tayo ng isang example? Thanks for your email. Ayan. So, pag mali, i-correct niya. Ang tagal niyang i-correct. Hindi niya kinorek. Pinail niya ako. Baka dahil sa ano to. Ayan. Ayan. So, pag wrong spelling yan, i-correct niya. Pag wrong grammar, ganyan. So, magre-red siya. Makikita niyo agad, tapos makokorek niyo. Okay. So, yan yung silbe ng Grammarly. So, balik na tayo dito uh, sa ating uh, profile summary, no? So, ang first line natin would be this one. Ito yung sa akin, no, yung nilagay ko. So, are you an employer seeking for a Filipino freelancer who can offer a professional help uh, in your business? So, as you can see here, uh, the reason why question agad yung uh, ginawa ko is because to engage then the client about dun sa hinahanap niya and then kung ano yung nararamdaman niya. As you can see here, are you tired of handling administrative tasks for your business and puzzled on how to increase traffic in your social media accounts? Yung isang way na pwede niyong gawin for the second line is to tell them na you are skilled or knowledgeable in social media, blah, 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 or admin skills nga, blah, blah, blah. 
Pero yun yung common na ginagawa ng mga ibang freelancers, right? So try to think of creative ways on how you can present yourself nang hindi nagiging uh, generic or dapat uh, something na aangat kayo sa iba. Okay, if your answer is yes, then you should speak. So you can see here, meron tayong tinatawag na call to action. So pag sinabing call to action, yun yung ipapagawa mo dun sa client para sa next step nyo, which is, ano, interview. Okay? My name is Maria and you can contact me anytime on here. Ibig sabihin, ini-invite ko siya or sinasabihan ko siya na i-message niya ako dito sa onlinejobs.ph. You can count on my administrative and social media expertise. So, sinabi ko ulit to, tong part na to, para mabalik yung idea niya about this one. I have a knack of for moderating and manipulating social media sites and passion for the internet. I'm confident in my ability to make anything I put, I put my mind to success. Tapos, ito na yung key qualities niya na. I work quickly, confidently, and efficiently because I love what I do. So, lagyan naman ng konting drama ng konti. Okay? So, it, pati yung iba pang skills na medyo, let's say, for example, pang level up na mga skills. No, na pang team, let's say, pang for, for teamwork, something like that. So, this is how you write. This is just one way. This is just one of the many ways na pwede niyong gawin for your uh, profile. No, Another thing na pwede niyong i-check or i-try would be this one. With this, uh, with this, bibigyan ko kayo ng copy nito. So, let's say, for example, you don't have an experience, pero you're a mom, you're a proud mom, for example, and then may mga skills kayo with that, being a housewife, for example, then pwede niyo siyang ilagay. But I highly suggest na matuto kayo ng mga related skills, no? Para at least kahit pa paano may mailagay kayo. But for example, this one, uh, this is written in a third uh, what do you call this? Third person na approach, no? So, Maria is a loving and responsible wife whose main goal is to earn and provide additional income to the family using her skills in admin assistance, for example, customer service and communications. Okay, so ganyan nyo siya gagawin. So, ito yung short lang, right? And that's, that's, that's it for profile. Baka masyado na tayo nagtatagal. Ilang minutes na lang tayo. Um... Yeah, balik tayo dito. And then for this one, as you can see here, pwede kayong pumili kasi dito ng, di ba ito, as you can see here, sobrang daming skills kayong pagpipilian dyan. As in, kapag in-edit natin to, let's try to edit it. So gusto ko, pagdating dun sa, ano nyo, pagdating dito sa worker skills nyo or top skills nyo, Sobrang dami kasi nito eh. Pero ang gagawin nyo, pipiliin nyo lang. Ayan, ba? Ang dami, ang dami. Sobrang dami dyan. As in, mag-e-enjoy kayo dyan pumili ng pumili ng mga skills nyo na paunti-unti. Kasi alam nyo to, alam nyo yan, bla bla bla. Pero hindi na siya related dun sa ina-applyan nyo or related dun sa title nyo. So, dapat magmamatch pa rin kung ano yung title nyo, ano yung nilagay nyo yung experience dun sa ilalagay nyo na skills. Huwag din kayong padalos-dalos na i-five stars lahat yan kasi hanggang lima lang rin yung pwede niyong i-five stars. Kapag two, four stars, three stars, limited lang din. And then kapag naglagay kayo ng two star dyan or one star dyan or three star dyan, iisipin nyo rin. Kasi pwedeng isipin ni client na let's say naghahanap siya ng sama na marunong magsulat. Eh kayo sa sarili nyo, alam nyo naman na marunong kayo or kaya niya magsulat and all that. Pero sa loob-loob nyo, minsan lang kayo nakapagsulat for a particular client, kaya ang ilalagay nyo na lang dyan one star. So, dahil one star lang yung nilagay nyo, hindi nakikita ng client na, ayan, for example, I've had some instruction, I've done it a few times, para sa kanya, mahina kayo dun sa writing, pero para sa inyo, alam nyo na magaling kayo dun. Pero syempre, hindi nila nakikita yun. Diba? Uh, nakikita lang nila, nirate mo yung sarili mo na two stars. Kaya kung pwede natin i-rate yung sarili natin na four stars, Para may room for improvement. And then, five stars, much better. Isa pang dahilan kung bakit gusto kong piliin nyo lang siya is mas better kapag minimal lang yung nakikita nila. Yung hindi masyadong nakaka-bombard na information. 
keep in mind na saglit lang sila tatambay sa profile nyo. Okay? Hindi naman yun yung tipong babasahin talaga nila sa isa yung mga pinaglalagay nyo. Kaya dapat, kung pwede natin piliin kung ano yung mga main na mga top skills natin or yung main skills natin na pinaka gusto nyo i-highlight, yun lang yung ilagay nyo. Or yun yung piliin nyo. Okay? Let's try na maging minimalist pagdating dito sa skills section na to. Kasi ang idea, ang lalabas sa mga client, iisipin nila na ang dami-dami-dami mong nilagay na skills mo dito, nagsulat ka pa, pwede nyo kasing piliin lang. Tapos, lagyan nyo na lang ng summary kung ano-ano yung mga pinagagawa nyo or ano-ano yung mga skills under nung general na skill na yun. ba? Diba? And yun nga, kapag nakita ni client na ang dami-dami yung skills na nilagay, tapos pag ang dami kong nakikita rin sa mga nubis na ganun, ang dami nilang skills na nilagay, pagdating dito sa skill summary, isang line lang, sino niloko nyo? Diba? So, pag nakita nung ganun na ang client na hindi nagmamatch, sinacheck nila yun na mauge, yung skill summary, ang, ang iksi, pagdating dun sa worker skills nila, sobrang haba ng mga pinaglalagay, ang dami pa. Akala ko ba may skills ka, eh bakit wala kang mailagay dito sa skill summary? ba diba? So, itucheck nila yan. So, make sure na dapat aligned lahat, dapat walang butas na masisilip. Alright? So, okay na tayo dyan. So, dito na tayo sa cover letter. I hope you're doing fine. Okay na ba kayo dyan? Sorry, medyo inaantok na ako. Okay, sige. Mamaya, I'll answer your questions. I'll try to to answer everyone, but minamadali ko na to kasi baka hindi tayo makahabol. So for your cover letter, it's important na informal lang yung ating salutations. Ibig sabihin, yung opening remarks natin dapat chill lang. So if we can say, Hi or hi there, hello there, hey. Huwag lang masyadong informal like hey. Pag nag-hey sila, pwede ka mag-hey. Pero wag, wag sa lahat ng cover letter, okay? Pwede ang pinaka-safe, hi, and then hello there, no? And then kapag dear client or dear whatever or to whom it may concern or kung ano man yan, pag masyadong formal, hindi nila rin pinapansin. So, dapat chill lang. Dapat friendly lang na tone. And then, if you can have like a high energy na introduction or intro or first sentence nyo, dapat high energy yan. No? Dapat positive yan. Dapat excited kayo. Mafeel nila kaagad yon No? And then, with your body naman, you can address kung ano man yung problem or yung task na gusto niyang uh, ipagawa sa inyo with the body of your cover letter. That's one. You can also suggest some steps on what they can do on their end or you may mga suggestions lang kayo and what you think is uh, right, what you think is the right thing for them to do. You can also suggest. And then yung pinakalas is yung call to action. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng example niyan. Punta tayo dito sa ating sample cover letters. So, this is how you navigate our uh, drive ha. Huwag magbubura. Huwag mag Huwag magpapasaway. Hindi nyo rin may edit yung ibang, ibang parts pero nakikita ko may nagbubura ng training certificate na papagod ako mag-upload. So, let's move on to our cover letter. So, this is the first cover letter that I use. Okay? So, uh, sabi dito, Hi there. Ayan. Uh, my heart left when I saw the position for a community. This is not the first cover letter that I have. Sorry. Siguro mga second to or third. So, uh, as you can see here, yung pagkakasabi ko pa, my heart left, ibig sabihin tumalbog yung puso ko. Instead of saying na I'm excited, pag nag-search kayo, kayo sa Google, lahat ng cover letter nakalagay doon, I'm excited. So, if you can refrain from using that word, at least man lang, uh, yung application nyo is hindi same sa ibang applications, much better. And then, you can still follow yung common na rules ng cover letter, which is to what? To tell them kung ano yung ina-applyan nyo kasi baka marami silang opening, hindi nila alam kung saan ka nag apply That's why it's important pa rin to make banggit <laughs> konyo na the, the position or the title. no And then saan nyo nakita yung job ad which is, let's say, sa so online jobs at PH. Alright? 
Tapos, you can tell them about your your skills or then your work experience, pero sobrang iksi lang. Huwag masyadong mahaba since nasa cover letter niya, na, nasa resume niya naman yon Okay? And then, as you can see here, nung newbie ako, yung mga Facebook pages na hinandal ko, nilagay ko lang din siya dito, yung mga links. Tapos naglagay lang rin ako ng numbers or figures. Yung mga clients, gustong-gusto nilang nakakakita ng mga successful niya na hinandle or successful niya na ginawa. And then may konting, lalo na yung mga clients na gusto ng numbers. Let's say, for example, you can tell them kung nag-data entry na kayo, gaano kadaming data yung na, nalinis nyo or naayos nyo. Pwede nyo sabihin na you were able to uh, to clean an email with 100,000 emails, for example lang. Ganun lang, di ba? Sobrang dami ng emails na yan. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, pag naglagay kayo ng ganun, mas effective siya. Okay? Uh, as you can also notice, no, may mga pages dito na pang isang isang client lang pero sobrang daming pina, ano, pinahandle. Pero na, nung unang-una nung newbie ako, ang nilagay ko lang is yung... Uh, yung business ng brother-in-law ko and then sister-in-law ko. Wala pa kasi akong client nun for social media, kaya sila pa lang yung nilagay ko. Which is still nag-work naman. So you can also tap your friends, your family members na may mga businesses and then baka pwedeng sa kanila muna kayo kumuha ng experience. Okay? So these are the other cover letters that we have in our template na folder. Right? So ito yung kanina and then this one naman. Okay, this one naman is what we call our magical cover letter. It's called magical cover letter by our mommies na pinagsendan ko nitong magical cover letter natin. Because, um, based on my experience, nagsasend yung client agad-agad ng reply. So, if your problem is walang nagre-reply sa application mo, this is one of the solutions na pwede nyo gawin to update your cover letter. Uh, tawag dito... Ito kasi, pag nag-send kayo ng application na or cover letter na catchy, magre-reply si client in an instant, let's say, uh, seconds lang. Let's say, five seconds, one minute, yung iba, one hour lang, two hours lang, nakakuha na sila ng reply. So, ganito naman natin siya, sinulat. And this is, uh, and, is and with call to action naman, ganito ko naman kayo, gusto, gusto Ganito naman yung pwede nyong gawin, okay? So, uh, dito, so yan, ganun pa rin. Hi there, when I saw your job post, I was ecstatic or exaggerated na excited, di ba? It was, I was like, whoa, the perfect job. Time to write my cover letter. But then, when I was reading what I wrote, I thought to myself that, man, oh man, this is really dry and boring and overly generic. So, so I decided to try something new. I won't do a cover letter explaining what I did, what I can do. I mean, my resume pretty much describes everything about me already. So, kapag sinabi niyo to, make sure na yung resume niyo talagang maayos, kompleto, maganda, para hindi kayo mapahiya na ganitong klaseng style yung pagsulat niya ng resume na medyo catchy lang, okay? Na wala siyang laman, walang anything na sinabi about your skills pero nag-work siya, okay? And sobrang casual niya. Meaning to say, kung paano kayo magsulat ng cover letter niyo, let's say, uh, medyo... Uh, kayo yung type of uh, applicant na gusto nyo ang ma-attract nyo ay Christian. Maybe you can add uh, some wordings or some, not Bible verses, but uh, something na alam nyo sa sarili nyo na yun yung values na gusto nyo ipakita sa applicant, uh, sa employer. So, may mga ganyan. So, Kung Christian kayo and then you're looking for Christian na mga clients, then that's the way to go. And then, eh, uh, eh yung mga client naman na na-attract na nung ganitong, sana naintindihan nyo yung sinasabi ko kasi talagang pa-shutdown na yung utak ko. But pag ganitong uh, cover letter kasi, yung ginagamit, usually ang na-attract nito mga millennial na clients, ibig sabihin yung mga batang entrepreneur, Nasa 20s nila, nasa 30s nila. May mga black American din na na-attract nito. So, mga hippie, ganyan. So, usually ganun yung mga clients na na-attract nito. So, if you're, if you're interested to work with clients na mas bata, then pwede nyo itong gamitin. 
if you're interested naman to find a, 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 an established company, then mas formal lang kaunti, pero friendly pa din. Okay? So, and if you're still reading up to this point, so kapag nabasa nila to and then nakita nila na to na very engaging siya, may mga clients ako dati na sinandan ko na ito tapos nagre-reply sila ng, yes, I'm still reading. Pero imagine that's email, ah. Imagine how engaging the application was. Nung nagsend ako ng, ng cover letter ko na to and then nagreply sila. I think it's safe to assume that I've already gotten your attention, blah, blah, blah. Punta na tayo dito sa paano ko sinabi yung call to action natin, okay? So, instead of sending you a standard and overly formal letter, I was thinking, how about a friendly chat or a Skype call to discuss more about your company? Lagi niyong iisipin na pagdating sa cover letter, it's not just about you. If you can talk about them, if you can uh, include them in your cover letter, maybe you can tell them na na-research mo sila and you this is what you feel, this is what you think, blah, 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 much better. Dapat lahat tungkol sa kanila. Ang problem kasi with the majority of the applicants, lahat tungkol sa sarili nila. Okay? So, dapat mag-insert kayo dyan ng tungkol sa company nila, tungkol sa kanila. Okay? Tungkol sa hinahanap nila, hindi yung sa kung ano yung pwede mong i-offer na hindi naman na-related. Okay? That's how you do it. Uh, and then make sure to leave your Skype ID. It's very important to leave your Skype ID. Why? Kasi dito nga sila nag interview So when you leave your Skype ID, katulad ng pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, magme-message na lang sila doon. Ang isa pa noon na maganda is that uh, kapag naglagay kayo noon, ang mangyayari, hindi nyo na siya kailangang replyan pa sa email. Mas nakatipid kayo sa time. Okay? And then make sure to leave rin the link to your resume. So, paano naman ito papaiksiin? Kasi di ba sobrang haba niyan, yung link. So, para mapaiksiin niya yung link na yon, punta kayo sa Bitly. Okay? So, create niyo yung link dyan. Sorry, i-click niyo yung create na option. Uh, tapos, let's say, for example, this is your resume. Get shareable link. Yan. Tapos, i-copy-paste nyo lang siya dyan. Tapos, create. Can you see it? And then, ilagay nyo lang dito resume. Yung bawa, name nyo. Uh, Ruth Cruz Resume. Ganyan. Tapos, save. Tapos, copy. Tapos kapag gagawa na kayo ng cover letter nyo, balik tayo dito sa ating... Ay, nabala pala yung application na delete ko yata. Sorry. Yung ina-applyan natin kanina. Punta na lang tayo sa ibang job board. Ay, sa ibang job post. For example, this one. Example na lang to ah. Ito. Ayan, dyan. Dapat ganito lang siya lalabas. Pwede nyo na itong i-remove yung HTTPS para mas maiksi. Okay? Ang maganda pa niyan mga mamshi, kapag naka maiksi na yung inyong cover let, ay yung inyong resume link, kahit magka-chat kayo, let's say, sa email or magkausap kayo sa chat na Skype, for example, and then kahit kanino, no, mabilis nyo na lang siya matatandaan kasi naka-shorten na yung link. So, pwede nyo na lang ibigay yung bit that li tapos kung ano man yung kinustomize nyo. Mabilis. Okay? So, parang lumalabas na lagi kayong ready. Hindi yung, saan ko nga ba in-upload yun? Ah, saan ko nga ba sinave yun? Blah, blah, blah. Hindi na, hindi na ganun. Okay? So, okay na tayo dyan. So, I hope okay na yung closing sa inyo. And then, isa pang, pang call to action natin is either you send them yung website nyo. Kung, may, kung wala kayong website, Okay lang yun. Pwede kayong gumawa ng website nyo. Ito ginawa ko to sa weeks. Ay, hindi pala ako yung gumawa nito. Pinagawa ko na pala to. Ito yung itsura nung ginawa ko, nung newbie ako, ginawa ko siya for almost two days. Two days na rin. Ay, sorry. Ay, no, no, no. Ay, sorry. 
na ba yung ano ko lang? Ayan. So, as you can see here, ito yung ginawa ko for two days lang nung newbie ako. Hindi ko siya ganun kaganda. Ganun niyo naman yung skills ko dati. Diyos ko. <laughs> Nakakatawa kasi Google Docs lang, Zendesk, ayan lang. May song pa to. Nakakatawa. This is three years ago. Pero para siyang resume na website. So, they can download my resume and then yung experience ko, education ko, hobbies. Tingnan niyo naman ginawa ko nun. Sobrang payat ko pa, my God. Tapos dalaga pa ako dito. ba diba? So, pwede kayo makagawa sa wix.com or sa WordPress ng inyong mga uh, website. Tapos ito na yung pinaka-closing natin na statement. So, looking forward to hearing your ideas or looking forward to working with you. No? And then yung pinaka greetings nyo na closing, best, all, all the best, regards, um, your next virtual assistant, I don't know. Bahala kayo kung ano yung gusto nyo ito. Always the game changer. Uh, sincerely, best of the best of both, both worlds. And ano pa ba? So, it's it's up to you. no? So, yung closing nyo rin, up to you rin. Pwede rin kayo mag-google ng mga iba't ibang closing. Okay? But ako usually, yun lang yung sinasabi ko. Uh, looking forward to working with you lang. Okay? So, Yeah. So, we're good now with cover letter. I hope nakatulong yan sa inyo. For a resume naman, it's important. Bibilisan ko na to kasi last part na to eh. So, sobrang bilis na lang nito dapat. Dapat matapos tayo ng 6.30 kasi I have a 7 o'clock na meeting pa. So, in terms naman of fonts and colors, I want you to go to Canva. So, we're good with this one. Yay! We're done with online jobs at PH and resume. I want you to go to Canva dot com slash colors okay so when you go to canva dot com slash colors makikita nyo tong color palette generator color pa color palette ideas color wheel color meanings it's important ito basic graphic design na to ah so with this one for example you wanted this uh colors na makuha nyo yung hex code na sinasabi or color code. Kasi gagamitin nyo siya sa mga resume nyo. Okay? So, let's go to canva.com again and create a resume. So, ayan. Ito na yung mga hex code na sinasabi natin. Let's say, for example, you wanted to get this kind of red. No? So, punta lang tayo dito sa resume sample natin ulit. And then, you wanted to turn this to nakagradient pa to eh. Hanap tayo ng hindi nakagradient. Hanap tayo ng ibang resume. For example, this one. So, you wanted to turn this to red. So, i-click nyo lang to. Yan. So, yan. Makikita nyo na yung red. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. So, if there's a specific image na gusto nyo kunin yung color nyan, you can go to Pinterest. You can also go to Pinterest. Tapos, hanap kayo ng mga color combinations dyan, let's say, for purple. This is Pinterest. I hope you're familiar with Pinterest. But let's say pink, uh, purple. Ayan. Let's say, for example, gusto nyo makuha yung pagka-purple na tong mga to. Ganun lang din. No? Save nyo lang siya and then i-upload nyo siya ulit dito. Para makuha nyo yung iba't ibang purple na shade. Okay? Yeah, That's how you do it. So, Pag halimbawa, kung hindi kayo comfortable sa yung kayo yung magpipili ng colors, may mga colors naman na available dito. So, you don't have to pick colors, no? Pero, it's important na alam natin yung mga magagandang color combination. So, you can also check yung mga color palettes na na-available here. And then, you can also check yung color wheel, especially for combinations. So, may mga iba't ibang combinations ng colors, no? Pwedeng isa, ay pwedeng, ay pwedeng dalawa, tatlo, no? Na color combinations, monochromatic, analogous, blah, blah, blah. Hindi na kailangan malaman yan. Hindi naman yan ganun ka-importante. Pero I want you to understand yung color, meanings, and symbolism just in case lang na gusto nyo maglagay ng personality dun sa 
in yung resume. For example, for me, yung resume ko is color red. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng color red? Sabi dito, it is said to be the color of love and affection. And of course, it is also the color of Harvard and its infamous daily student newspaper. Hindi niya na kailangan malaman niya. Kailangan niya lang malaman it's it's for love and affection. Diba? So, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, tawag dito, magre-reflect kasi yun sa brand nyo or sa personality nyo. That's why it's important to know the color. No? So, we're good with that. In terms of color, it's up to you anong color yan. Pwede rin walang kulay, pwede black and white lang. Okay? So, hindi naman kailangan na makulay yung resume. But for the style of or the font, dapat basic book print. Pag sinabing basic book print, dapat readable. Like this one, readable yan. This one is readable. And then for the size, it's 10 to 12 na size, no? So when you go to canva.com, as you can see here, may mga font naman na siya. Pati na, as you can see here, for this one, it's 42. For this one, it's 20. It's 10 for the sub uh, titles or the description. Meaning to say, meron na kayong guide agad. Pero baka kasi magbida-bida kayo na palakihin nyo yung mga fonts masyado. Wag na, okay? Sundin lang natin kung ano yung tama para hindi rin kayo mahirapan. Alright? So, I want the reason why I'm guiding you with design, with I'm guiding you with this, kasi ito yung basic na skills na pwede nyo matutunan agad. Para hindi kayo yung tipong sasabihin nyo na, ay, wala akong alam na kahit na anong skills. Ito na nga po, tinuturo na. Okay? So, ano naman tong header na to? Uh, dito kayo pwede maglagay ng picture. May mga, ako na-hire din ang isa sa mga dahilan bakit din ako na-hire kasi because of my photo. So, parang syempre, nakikita ng client yung kayo. Na-assess niya kung okay ba kayo as a person, no? Hindi naman dahil judge na kayo sa itsura niyo. But, nagkakaroon siya kahit pa paano ng idea, no? Tungkol sa inyo with your photo. So, if you don't want to put a photo, okay lang naman din na wala, okay? In terms of uh, your header should include your name, your photo, and then your title. As you can see here, yung title ko tatlo-tatlo pa. It doesn't necessarily mean na tatlo yung nilagay nyo dyan, i-hire niya kayo sa lahat ng yan. Pwedeng sa isa lang and all that. Uh, I also recommend na pag nakatagal-tagal na rin kayo sa freelancing, mag-niche down na rin kayo. Kung hindi naman kayo makapag-niche down, for example, marami pa rin kayong ina-offer, okay lang yun. Pero kung gusto nyo na mag-niche down, ibig sabihin, Pipili na lang kayo ng isang focus nyo na skill or isang field lang, okay din yun. So, it's it's up to you talaga kung anong gusto nyo gawin sa buhay nyo, okay? But, in terms of uh, fonts naman or typography kung tawagin, no? Dapat balance, dapat readable yung text, no? And then, pag sinabi natin balance, for example, yung pagkakapantay-pantay nila, Yung line, yung ano nyo, yung space sa bawat ano is very important. Okay? Tapos, isa pa is yung sections. Uh, for the, for this section, siguro yung isa sa mga mali na nakikita ko dito sa resume ko is that yung about me sa na section ko, same siya dun sa cover letter ko. So, take note nyo lang po mga mamshis na dapat yung nakalagay sa resume nyo and cover letter nyo hindi pareho. Okay? What I, what I mean na hindi pareho, dapat yung wording or yung mismong paragraph, mismong sentence, hindi the same. Kasi mapapansin at mapapansin nila. Na-templated yung cover letter mo kasi nabasa nila ulit dun sa resume mo. So be careful. Okay? Uh, so you can see here yung social media skills, virtual assistant skills ko, magkahiwalay siya kasi ganun ko siya gustong i-present. Pero pwede namang isang skill section lang. Okay? Pwedeng, pwedeng, pwedeng isa lang. Alright? Contact page ko, halos lahat pa ng mga contact details ko pinaglalagay ko. Pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-important talaga. Importante lang, email, phone number, actually hindi rin. Pero if, if you're using that for your WhatsApp, then maybe you can include WhatsApp. And then Skype, website, and then the rest of your social media accounts. Itry nyo rin yung ginawa ko na naka-hyperlink or pwede nyo ili-link yung uh, profile nyo dun sa logo para pag clinic nila yung logo, mapupunta na lang sila dun. Pwede yun to save space. Okay? And then for your interest naman, just ko Lord, kapag gagawa kayo ng uh, mga icons na ganito, make sure na magkakapareho yung icons. Tapos yung color na pipiliin nyo dapat consistent. Okay? Dapat consistent. no Hindi, hindi kailangan ng masyadong makulay. Hindi kailangan ng masyadong bongga na icons or mga images na bongga. Hindi. 
mas simple, mas better, at saka mas consistent, mas okay. Okay? And then, if you're going to choose interest uh, or hobbies nyo, make sure to choose yung something na interesting din or something na makaka-relate rin. Well, hindi nyo naman malalaman yung interest ng client nyo at first. Pero if you're, uh, let's say, you really wanted a specific job for this position and this particular na company and all that, and then you wanted na uh, for your resume, willing kayo na i-change siya, i-update siya and all that. Then, let's say, for example, the the client is uh, a makeup na artist and then vlogger siya. So, makeup tutorials ang ginagawa niya. Maybe, tas same interest kayo, ganun din. Maybe you can add here na ganun din kayo na nag-makeup vlog din kayo, something like that. Para lang makakonek, no? So, kung hindi naman, hindi nandiyo naman gustong kumonek and all that, gusto niya lang i-share din yung personal na interest niyo yung uniqueness na meron kayo, then you can add that. So, kung naglu- magaling kayo magluto, nag, uh, ano kayo, nagko-crochet ba yung tawag doon? So, yan, ilagay nyo yan. Iwasan maglagay ng mga interest or uh, hobbies na pwedeng makasama or mag-isip sila na either ikapahamak nyo, let's say, mga intense na sports or uh, pwedeng nakaka-addict pag naglagay kayo ng Dota dyan or ML, whatever, <laughs> mga games, baka isipin nila masama. But, Definitely hindi naman. Good naman yun in a way na napapaisip nila na pagdating sa logic, magaling kayo and all that. Pero as much as possible, kung kaya nyo i-relate yung uh, experience nyo dun sa interest na ilalagay nyo, much better. Okay? For the education, uh, tuturuan ko din kayo kung ano dapat yung mga inuuna nyo pagdating sa resume nyo. Pag sinabi kong uunahin yung ilagay, ilalagay nyo on top ng resume nyo. Ibig sabihin, yun yung nasa taas. Tapos dapat alam nyo kung alin yung ibababa. Meaning to say, alam nyo dapat kung ano yung iha-highlight, alin yung hindi nyo masyadong iha-highlight. Okay? At alis, alin yung mga aalisin nyo na totally hindi na related tapos hindi siya makakatulong sa inyo para mapalabas nyo na um, maayos yung credentials nyo. Bigyan ko kayo ng example. For your education, you don't have to highlight na undergrad kayo. No? Ilagay nyo na lang, pag nagtanong, di, then sabihin nyo. Pero based on my experience, never, never, never akong tinanong about my education, about my school, about the year, kung kailan ako graduate, about my course, never, ever. Okay? Tapos, uh, pagdating naman sa home-based experience, hindi kayo required na ilagay dyan kung anong company, kung sinong boss nyo, anong year yan, bahala kayo, pwede naman ding ilagay nyo. Ilalagay nyo lang yung year kapag proud kayo sabihin na tumagal kayo 10 years, 17 years kayo sa company. Proud kayong sabihin kasi maganda yan na makita ng recruiter. Pero kapag halimbawang 6 months, 1 year kayo and then hindi kayo tumatagal sa company, then wag nyo na siyang ilagay. O kaya ako, in, in during my time na nag apply ako, sabay-sabay ko itong ginagawa and hindi pa ako tumatagal sa kanila, 1 month na ongoing pa lang. And nalaman ko rin sa mga clients right now, since we're working with a few clients, na ayaw nila na dinidisclose nyo yung mga previous company nyo. Kasi nga naman, kapag nag-work na kayo with them, i-disclose nyo rin sa ibang tao yung company nila. Lalo na kung may NDA sila and mahigpit sila in terms of, ano, in terms of um, non-disclosure na agreement nyo, then ding na sila kaagad. Ding na kaagad kayo sa kanila. So, as much as possible, ingatan nyo rin yung information ng mga old clients nyo or employers nyo. Now, as much as possible, clue na lang, ito, work full-time for a client in the UK that owns a variety of online store with multiple Facebook pages. So, kung pwede nyo na lang siyang isummarize ng ganito, ang pinaka-importante lang naman kasi kapag naglalagay kayo ng work experience is yung masabi nyo at ang tunay lang talaga nila nababasahin ay yung work experience nyo under nung company na yun. Okay? Trendfold for the tools naman, yung mga tinuro ko sa inyong tools, ilagay nyo doon. Huwag nyo na lang siguro ilagay yung communication tools. Kasi sobrang basic nun. So, if you can think of other tools and then if you can check other tools, hindi nyo kailangan na, ma- na maging experience, maging expert tools lang yan. Ang kailangan nyo lang is kailangan ma-experience nyo kung paano gamitin yun, ma-familiarize nyo yung mga sarili nyo kung paano nyo gamitin yung mga tools na yun. Okay? Ito yung example naman ng footer na ang ilalagay nyo na lang is yung mga logo. And then, call to action. Let's talk. And then, yung 
email address niyo for example and then pwede kayo maglagay ng character reference but maybe yung uh, name lang nila company and then kahit email lang no need na for the phone number kasi sa email lang sila nagre-reach out speaking of character references if you enrolled in FH Moms online courses isa sa mga perks na makukuha niyo is that you can uh, include your trainer including me in your character reference Kapag halimbawang tumawag si client, kami yung pwedeng sumagot at magbigay ng magandang feedback about you. Lalo na kapag nag-volunteer kayo sa FH Moms, nag-apprenticeship kayo sa FH Moms, stuff like that. Okay? So, pwedeng kami yung maging character reference nyo. Hindi na kayo mahihirapan na maghanap ng kung sino-sinong character reference na pwedeng i-add. Lalo na yung mga hindi nyo na nakakausap na boss nyo. So, for the other types of resumes, I want you to check this in our YouTube channel. So, just go to... Um, FH, uh, Filipino Home Base Moms YouTube channel. Ito naman yung ginawa niya. Wait, I hope you can see my screen. Ay. Sorry. Sorry, hindi pala naka-share yung screen ko. <laughs> Sobrang sabog na ako, but yeah, hold on for a sec. Balikan lang natin. Aha. Okay, so ito yung shinare ko kanina about the colors. Sana nakita niya to. Sorry about that. So this is yung sa colors na kwento ko kanina. And then header and then yung sa sections, and then yung another sections natin na slide for the interest and ups and pools, and then ito yung footer. Tapos yung sa character reference. Sorry about that. Hindi pala nakashare yung screen ko. And then, shanare ko rin kanina yung sa Canva colors. Baka hindi nyo rin nakita yun. Sorry, this is just a review na lang. Um... Okay. Baka hindi niya rin nakita itong part na to. Okay. So, for example, oops, sorry. So, let's say, for example, you wanted to get the colors nitong particular photo na to. Then you can also go to, uh, what's this? You can also go to Pinterest para doon. No? Let's say, for example, this one. Kasi kanina, ano yan. Eh. So, lalagay natin, kinapipaste natin yung ano, and then ibigay, ibibigay niya sa atin yung color na yon. So, ganyan siya. Tapos, in-explain ko rin kanina yung about doon sa colors, no, na, let's say, ito yung color palette. Tapos, ready na yung mga colors, ganyan. And then itong color wheel na hindi naman masyadong importante. Pero if you wanted to understand ano yung meaning ng isang color, for example, for violet, uh, evokes the same feelings of intelligence and confidence. So if you wanted to show the client that you are intelligent and confident, then you can choose purple. If it's your favorite color, then mas maganda. Okay? So, sorry about that. Ang dami kong technical issues right now. Sorry talaga. Okay lang, bawi ako next time. Medyo ngayon-ngayon lang ako nasabaw. Okay. Sige. Let's go back. So this is our footer. Katulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, you can just add logos to save space. And then, of course, your call to action and then your email. And then for character reference, yun nga. Pwede kami maging character reference nyo. Especially if nag-volunteer kayo sa FH Moms, may ginawa kayo for FH Moms, student namin kayo, apprentice namin kayo. So make sure to engage an FH Moms group. And then this is our... Uh, wait lang. So I just wanted to explain, wait lang for a sec. Uh, in terms of our uh, resume, no? Hindi lang ganitong file yung pwede niyang magawa like a PDF file, pwede rin kayo gumawa ng video. So, katulad nito, ginawa to sa 
Google Slides, and then nilagyan lang ng effects. This one naman is ginawa sa Potoon. This one naman is a resume uh, created. This is like a CV website or a resume website. No, na kung saan nandito na yung portfolio, nandito na rin yung lahat ng mga pwede nyo malaman na makikita rin sa resume. So, minsan ito na lang yung sinesend. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin panoorin. Okay, sige. So that's one, and then yung isa pa, wait lang, bumabalik siya dun sa ano. Dapat pala hindi ko kiniklik na in-new tab ko lang. Ang dami nating tech issue dito sa webinar kong to ah. Ayan. Ayan. So, pwede nyo lahat yan panoorin sa ating YouTube channel. So, we're almost done. <laughs> Sorry sa lahat ng issues. Diyos ko, dai. Di, wala na kasi, wala kasi nag-check sa akin kung okay pa ba. But, yeah, let's, let's proceed. Okay lang. Okay lang ako. Dahil lang to sa ano. Antihistamine. So, let me share my screen and... Hindi ko na dapat makalimutan yan. Okay. So, make sure to uh, log, log on to onlinejobs.ph. This is a recap na lang on how to apply. Choose the category, use the search bar, click the apply button, and then you can complete your job application from there. Okay? And then send the application, of course. And then we're open now with Q&A, so let me just answer your questions. Um... I'm super excited to, to answer your questions, no? Thank you so much. Uh, huh. Yan. Hi, Mami. That's my beautiful mother-in-law. Nakailang katok si Mamshi. <laughs> and uh, uminom, kumain kasi ako ng sardinas, tapos na allergy ako. Nag-antihistamine na ako, groging grogi na ako. Thank <laughs> you, so, okay, so let me answer questions now. We're, we're done now. I just have to give you some tips about interview. 
So, just to let you know, meron tayong upcoming na uh, webinar with, uh, with, she's not a mom, she's a tita, with virtual ate, Leanne. So, sa Wednesday yon. So, tomorrow, meron tayong, I believe, meron tayong tum, uh, mock interview tomorrow. So, ano ba tong mock interview? So, ngayon, hindi natin madidiscuss yung kabuoang discussion ng interview, pero at least tomorrow, meron kayong uh, idea kung paano magpa-interview. Ano yung mga tinatanong na questions? So, right now, what, what I can suggest is to Google interview questions about online jobs, about um, about work, lalo na kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-work in your entire life, no? So, same lang yung mga interview questions na makikita nyo sa Google. Pagdating lang sa online, tatanungin lang sa inyo kung ano yung gamit nyo, internet nyo, ano yung equipment na meron kayo, desktop ba or laptop, kung may backup ba kayo na internet, backup na gamit, stuff like that, kung sino yung kasama niya sa bahay, may anak ba kayo, usually yung mga ganun yung tinatanong pag online job. Pero, Almost the same lang yung mga interview questions. Kasi pare-pare-pare-pareho naman yung mga HR mapa online, mapa offline yan. Okay? And uh, again, re-ready nyo lahat ng kailangang, kailangang i-ready. Sorry, nagbe-burp pa ako. Um, kasi para mabilis nyo silang masubmit, no? Pagdating sa background, syempre itong background natin hindi papasa dahil ang dami nyong nakikita sa likod. So, dapat pag magpapa-interview tayo, dapat white background tapos may maayos kayo na lighting. Okay? Kasi kapag madilim, kapag maraming background noise and all that, distracting yan for the client. Alright? So, yun yung kailangan nating uh, gawin. Okay? So, I, I'm not sure if my sound ba, but I hope you can hear me. Pero before you leave, I want you to... Uh, leave a review in uh, Filipino Home-Based Moms page about this training. I know medyo sabog ako tonight, uh, but but I hope marami kayong natutunan. About working from home naman, there's a lot of things na dapat nyong i-consider to effectively work from home. No? Isa na dyan yung sa mga tools na tinuro ko sa inyo. And then syempre yung attitudes natin toward, towards work. Sobrang importante. Dapat nakakapag-deliver tayo sa mga clients natin. Dapat on time. Dapat hindi tayo nalilate even during the interview. Okay, so let me just answer some of your questions. So feel free to uh, to to share with me kung ano naman yung mga questions nyo. And to get naman your files, so this is how you can get your files. Okay, so for you to be able to get these files, lahat ng files na to, you can go to... Google, and then search for FH Moms. There. Tapos, punta kayo dito sa reviews. So, meron dito write a review. Tapos, makapag-write kayo ng review nyo. Tapos, sulat nyo yung review nyo dyan, or add a photo, whatever, and then post. And then, take a screenshot of your review. So, for example, this is your review. Yung tinuro ko sa inyo, which is a screenshot na tool natin is Lightshot. Ganyan, save nyo lang yan. Okay, this is how you do it. Makinig ng maigi, mag-follow kayo ng instructions. Lagot kayo sa client pag hindi kayo nag-follow ng instructions, okay? So, once na nakapag-leave kayo ng review sa Google, punta rin kayo sa Facebook, punta rin kayo sa Filipina Home-Based Moms. This is just simple instructions. Pag may nakita akong hindi nag-follow at hindi tumaget, patay na. So, punta kayo sa Filipino Home-Based Moms, go to reviews na section, and then write a review ulit. Share your feedback. Tama ba? Ayan, something like that. Recommend kung may option kayo to do it. Tapos, kapag na, let's say, okay na, i-click nyo ulit yan. Okay? Example natin. And then, go to drive. For example, this is where you want to save your files. Click nyo yan. Tapos, paano tayo mag, mag share ng link? Get shareable link. Okay, and then go to bit.ly slash review. So, very important tong FHMOMS review natin. So, ilalagay niyo yung name nyo. And then, make sure that your email address is your correct email. Okay, for example, yan. Ay, kabote. Sorry. Bawa, ganyan. Tapos dito nyo ikakapipaste yung link. 
Okay, I want you to place the link there. Pwede nyo ring i-bitly, bahala kayo. Tapos, submit. Okay, once na submit nyo na, marireceive ko yan. Yung email nyo, marireceive ko. Tapos, dyan ko kayo sesendan sa email nyo. Okay? Huwag magsesend or magre-reply ng inyong mga uh, ng inyong mga email sa comment section kasi baka ma-scam kayo. Okay? So, dapat dun lang sa form. So, Again, the form is, if I flash ko yung screen dito, that is bit.ly slash fhmoms. Ano na nga ba yun? Review. Sobrang lagging talaga. There. Bit.ly slash fhmomsreview. Yan lang yung i-fill out nyo. Okay? So, let me answer your questions na. Since we have time pa. Okay, sorry, sorry. Buti na lang na tapos natin. So, let me just start with this one. This is the first time I attended this webinar and learn a lot. Thank you so much, Mommy. And again, pasensya na sa lahat ng technical issues ko, lahat ng mga nakalimutan ko, pati pag-share ng screen. Uh, usually, hindi nangyayari to. <laughs> Ngayon lang nangyayari to. <laughs> Gawa ng na kainom nga ako ng antihistamine. So I'm glad that it's that you find it informative. Ayan. So okay Mommy MK, thank you so much na marami na ituro. Ito na mag-Canva Trello Google Docs. Actually sobrang dami pa. Sobrang dami niya pang pwedeng matutunan. I would love to do more demo pa in the future or maybe now if you have a question I'll be happy to share my screen. Di ko na po if I forget na maturuan kayo. May requirement ba na binibigay ang client regarding sa work location? So, let's say for example, uh, for this uh, client of ours, yung BPO na client natin, what they wanted is uh, a private na room. When we say private na room, like a home office na setup, dapat hindi siya shared na bedroom nyo. For example, doon na rin natutulog yung anak nyo, yung, babe, yung asawa nyo, or hindi siya yung katabi ng kusina, or katabi nitong, let's say for example, itong ref, na maraming dadaan-daan. So, may mga clients na nagre-record sila na private room. May mga clients naman na okay lang sa kanila kahit shared space. no? Pero, i-double check nyo ng maigi with your client ano yung requirement nila in terms of home office na setup. Okay. Pagdating naman sa headset, itong headset na ginagamit ko, this is A4 Tech, which is really good. I think malinaw naman siya. I'm also using, ha? Huh? Ay, sorry, webcam. Mali-mali na talaga yung sinasabi ko. This webcam is A4 Tech. And then this headset, this is just, what headset is this? JBL lang to. Wala siyang, may ano to? But, but what I meant is, wala siyang headset, ay, cancellation. Wala siyang cancellation feature. So, parang, well, what you can do is to download CRISP, kung tawagin. K-R-I-S-P. Kapag halimbawang wala kayong noise cancellation, ito yung makakapagpa, makakapagtanggal ng mga background noises nyo. Meron tong free na ano eh, meron siyang free trial and stuff like that. Pwede niyong i-check, no? Ito siya, yung itsura niya. So, marireduce niya yung noise. So, kung ang problema niyo is ingay, possible niya na ma-mute yung mga background noise sa any communication app na gagamitin niyo. Okay? So, crisp. Crisp. K-R-I-S-P. Nakakabulol, ba? Diba? So, yan. So, sana nakita niyo yon And... Okay. Wala na ba kayong question? Meron din bang tutorial sa paggawa ng introduction video of yourself? Yung iba kasi nagre-request. Ah, kasi mami, kapag video introduction ng self mo, picture, ay, ano lang siya, video lang talaga siya ng sarili mo. So, kapag gagawa ka ng video ng sarili mo, either meron silang talking points or gusto nilang yun yung sabihin mo, or kung mag introduce ka ng sarili mo, kung paano mo i-introduce yung sarili mo during the interview, yun lang din. So, 
what you can do is to search for uh, different ways on how you can introduce yourself. So either about your personal na mga interest, your experience, educational background, pwede rin, pero wag masyado. Yung hindi masyadong boring na information about you. That, that's how you you, uh, you shoot then your introduction video. Yung katulad ng sinabi ko kanina na dapat maayos yung background, maayos yung lighting, and all that. Yun yung mga dapat na i-consider sa video introduction. So, kung gagawin niya siya sa cellphone, make sure lang na naka-landscape siya. Pag sinabi natin landscape, nakahiga. Pag sinabi natin portrait, yung nakatayo. Okay? So, better kung landscape tayo palagi in terms of video introduction. Okay? Self-introduction videos. Alright? Uh, can I put in my resume those webinars which definitely... I highly recommend na ilagay niyo lahat ng mga free webinars na inatendan niyo, paid courses na inatendan niyo sa FH Moms. Bakit? Kasi kahit pa paano, kilala na tayo sa freelancing industry. Halos lahat ng mga freelancers aware na sila about uh, Filipino home-based moms. So kung may mga clients sila na nag uh, consider na mag-hire ng member ng FH Moms, definitely mas mabilis kayong maha-hire. Or kahit pa paano, uh, alam na ng mga uh, imagine ninyo, sa sobrang daming members ng FH Moms, pag nakita nila na members sila ng FH Moms and nakita nila na magaling talaga, then tatatak sila na member kayo ng FH Moms. Kaya lagi nyo i-flex din sa mga clients nyo na ina-applyan na member kayo nitong support group natin. And you can tell them that we have 190,000 members and that we have so many programs in the group. Meron tayong computer rent to own. Meron tayong, we will be partnering with a lot of, uh, in, uh, internet providers and other brands as well and other clients, no? So, yun yung mga pwede niyong sabihin sa kanila na meron kayong support group katulad ng FH Moms, alright? So, huwag kayong mahihiya na sabihin kasi uh, marami sa kanila nakilala na tayo, okay? Dapat merong sound to, Mami Miles. I'm not sure bakit wala. Okay. How to volunteer? Wait lang for a sec. Mali yung nas na ano ko. How to volunteer? The question ni Mami. Uh, I will be asking you if you can volunteer on specific tasks sa group na lang natin sa FH Moms. Okay? Sorry talaga about sa share screen. Ang dami niya na palang nagme-message. Okay. Mukhang wala naman akong na-miss na other questions. Paano po again kunin yung certificate for this training? Biglang nawala ng connection. So again, just go to... Uh, bit.ly slash fhmomsreview. Tapos, punta kayo sa Filipina home Base Moms na Facebook page and then mag-leave kayo ng review doon. And then, punta rin kayo sa Google, isearch na lang FH Moms, tapos may write a review din doon. Pwede rin, kung hindi nyo naman makita sa Google, pwede kayong pumunta sa LinkedIn, tapos i-connect nyo ako doon, tapos doon kayo mag-leave ng review. No? Or sa... Marie MK Bert Tulfo na page, meron din dong review. So, mag-iwan lang kayo ng review. Your review is very important for us, for us to know then kung happy ba kayo with uh, the free webinar na nakuha nyo right now, na natutunan nyo. And if you have something to say, let's say, uh, suggestions yan or improvement or gusto nyo makita or topics na gusto nyo pang matutunan, you can add that as well. And it will also help us to boost then yung um, credibility ng FH Moms. So, pag nakita ta ng mga partners natin, ng mga clients na uh, nanood kayo ng mga webinars natin, no, and then masaya kayo about it. So, mas marami tayong projects na matutuloy because of those reviews. So, yun yung pinakatulong nyo sa amin. And syempre, kapag may mga times na nalulungkot ako or pinangihinaan ako, for example, hindi naman, but 
kapag gusto ko lang ma-motivate every day, palagi kong binabasa yung mga messages nyo. Okay? So, that that's how I do things. Um, let's see. Let's check your other, ano pa. Meron bang webinar for English proficiency? So, right now, we will have our communication skills webinar on Wednesday with Leigh the virtual ate. That's Wednesday. Okay? But intensive na communication skills, magkakaroon tayo ng customer service training. So, this is, um, this is an initiative para na rin dun sa mga interested mag-apply sa ating BPO client na hindi pa ganun ka-confident with their communication skills para magkaroon din kayo ng chance to land an online job through FH Moms. Ayan. Okay. Dami niyong questions pala. Mm, I'm not sure kung bakit hindi mo siya makita, but it should be in the reviews na section. Medyo madami lang. You can send me a PM later. Mm, so right now, we're doing our best na uh, lahat ng mga online courses natin magkaroon ng apprenticeship program. But right now, since we're uh, a small team then and then yung trainers natin are focused on teaching, what we are doing is we partner with a few agencies and companies and then pa-isa-isa silang nag-hire. Pati yung mga friends ko na entrepreneurs, nag-hire sila sa FH Moms. But not everyone. May mga mommies kasi na hindi pa sila ready to take an apprenticeship or uh, apply for an online job. No, So hindi talaga sila nag-take. But may mga hindi rin nakakapasa dun sa apprenticeship program na requirement din ng client natin. So pinipili lang rin nila kung sino yung mga pwede for the apprenticeship. Pero, yung mga tasks na ginagawa natin sa FH Moms, it's good as an apprenticeship program na rin. Kasi may mga tasks kayo doon na gagawin. So, actually, sobrang dami nyo nang gagawin para gustuhin nyo pang mag uh, task uh, ibang clients, no? But definitely, may mga tasks, may mga may mga apprenticeship tasks na pwedeng gawin. Are you still giving 50% off? I'm not really sure if it's 50%, but you can enroll for our online courses for 3,000 pesos until uh, May 17. So we're going to have an increase using our e-learning platform uh, to 5,000 pesos starting May 19. So pag start na pag start na mga classes, mag start na din natin launch yung e-learning platform natin, no? Yes, definitely. You can, uh, this will be saved as a replay or recorded na video. And then you can watch it using your phone. You can also download uh, the video in YouTube. So it has a broadcasted na video in YouTube. Yes. One more thing pala, if you're gonna add uh, education na uh, section, I'll show you my resume pala. This is for... Uh, me as a founder na not a freelancer but i just wanted to show my resume na ginawa ko na one pager so this is how it looks like so as you can see here for this resume na one pager so this is my resume na one pager as you can see here meron pa ring title and then meron pa ring name ko and then my photo and then meron link in Kasi yun na lang naman yung pinaka-importante talagang social media account. Especially if you're a CEO or a COO, whatever. Uh, so, yung mga clients, after lang din sila sa LinkedIn. So, it's up to you if you want to uh, be, you know, to be minimalist in terms of your um, resume. You can just add your LinkedIn profile. And then a quotation, for example. You can add your email, mobile, and then location. And then ako, to add more credibility, if maganda rin kapag na-feature kayo sa FH Moms blog. So, if you can submit your story pala, either as a mom or as a work-at-home mom, to FH Moms blog, 
mas maganda. At least makakapaglagay kayo dito na as seen on kung na na pakita kayo sa TV, radio or na feature kayo sa FH Moms no, na invite kayo. Pwede niyo 'yan ilagay. And then affiliations, you can add na member kayo ng FH Moms for example, your character references. For the learning experience, you can add either learning experience instead of education, tapos ilalagay niyo diyan yung mga boring yung credentials ng high school kayo what or or college kayo what you can do is add yung mga courses na na take nyo de ba uh, lalo lang ngayon sobrang daming free courses so you can add that so ako ganon lang din yung inad ko tas yung title tas yung year lang tapos eto achievements naglagay din ako ng achievements sa yung work experience ko summarize na lang summarize na lang ng kabuo ang work experience ko tas years no kapag gusto yung going one pager tapos yung mga testimonials ng nyo sa akin, nilagay ko rito. Kayo naman, kung gusto nyo naman maglagay ng testimonials, pwede kayo maglagay ng testimonials na galing sa client nyo or family or friends nyo na may business na tinulungan nyo. No? So, ganyan nyo siya gagawin kung gusto nyo one pager. Kasi ba diba yung resume na pinakita ko sa inyo ay sobra-sobrang haba. Ganito naman yung resume na pinakita ko sa inyo nung nakaraan. Yay, we're done. Okay. Ito naman yung resume. As you can see, sobrang haba niya. Pero ang maganda naman dito sa mahabang-mahabang resume na to, tuwan-tuwa yung mga clients kasi sobrang kompleto. As in, sobrang kompleto. Ito yung mga apps and tools. Kung gusto nyo pala gawin tong bilog-bilog na to sa Canva, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano nyo siya gagawin. Eto, naglagay ako ng mga ma ng years dyan, character reference. Naglagay rin pala ako ng screenshot ng personality test ko. Napansin ko kasi ang dami-daming clients na nanghihingi ng screenshot ng personality test, ng internet speed. So, nilagay ko na din, pati system unit, yung specs or requirements nila pagdating sa laptop and desktop system requirements. Nilagay ko lahat as in. So, it's up to you kung ilalagay niyo to lalo na kung ang peg ng resume nyo is para ng CV kung tawagin. Sa ibang bansa kasi, merong, try nyo i-research yung difference ng CV and then resume. Pag ginugal nyo yung difference nyan, may mga bansa na gusto nila, sa US alam ko 1 to 2 pages lang yung bet nila. Pero sa ibang bansa, UK yata, parang bet nila yung parang mala journal lang peg uh, na parang mahaba, ganyan, tapos kompleto. Yan naman yung peg nila. So, iba-iba yung mga bawat nationalities. Pero hindi nyo naman kailangan i-consider yun kung mahaba or maiksiba. So, pwede lang kayo dun sa safe lang na, ano, which is one to two pages lang, something like that. And hindi naman siya kailangan ng sobrang mahaba. Pero kung mahaba man siya, make sure lang na dapat lahat, bawat page, lahat meron siyang silbi. Or meron siyang talagang makukuha silang laman. Hindi lang dahil sa pinahaba niya lang siya. Okay. Okay. I hope nakuha niyo yung instructions ko, but definitely yung instructions ko on how to get your certificate naman, uh, makikita niyo naman siya pag nirepost ko tong uh, video na to. So, magpo-post ako sa FH, ma'am, about. Okay. Okay. What things to put? Ito, this is a good, a really good question. What things to put in portfolio if new week? Can we put the skills we learned just by? Yes, definitely. You can add lahat ng mga natutunan nyo dito. So, what you can do, what you can do, for example, you can create designs. Uh, you can create designs. Wait lang, papakita ko yung screen ko. Baka makalimutan ko na naman. So, in terms of portfolio, there's so many ways you can do with your portfolio, even if you're a newbie. So, for example, this one. All of your designs in Canva, not all, maybe, pipili lang kaya ng ilan. What you can do is to go to Canva, create design. So let's say, for example, you are applying for a position that is a social media manager. Di ba merong mga templates uh, sa Canva na iba-iba? So gawan nyo lahat ng versions niyan. Pero make sure na for a specific client na target nyo. For example, you are looking for real estate brokers. Dapat lahat ng mga samples niyo is for real estate. Hindi naman... Kasi kapag gumawa kayo ng portfolio na, na family or uh, ginawa nyo for your family and friends, lumalabas na parang hindi siya tunay na 
uh, kumbaga parang trip-trip niya lang siya na ginawa niya lang for personal. Pero if you create from scratch, meaning to say, ginawa niya siya for a specific na purpose or uh, let's say uh, a client na hindi totoo but uh, a mock client, for example. For or a client na inisip niya lang yung portfolio niya. So for example, this one, you should uh, you can create different types of uh, designs or graphics for different types of Facebook po, uh, in, uh, social media post, for example. So, gawan nyo lang siya ng lahat. E di parang meron na rin kayong sample work. Tapos, what you can do, uh, may option dyan to, uh, let's say, for example, this one. Let's use this. Use this template. And then, gusto nyo siyang gamitin nyo as part of your portfolio. What you can do is to add, may option dito to add eh, to make it public. Uh, hanapin niya lang yung option na to make it public. Pag nakita ko, wait, <laughs> na, nahihilo na naman ako ulit. Uh, may option dito to make it public. I'm trying to find it. Hindi ko siya makita. Baka inalis na ni Canva. I'm not really sure. Pero dapat lalabas siya dito sa inyong account. Dito sa inyong Canva account. Ito, ito, ito. Baka nga wala na. Pero dapat meron eh. Hindi ko na siya makita. Pero dati may ganun sila eh. Na parang, well, kung hindi man, kung hindi man sa Canva, na portfolio nyo, wait lang. Wait lang, I'm try it. I'm try kung wala na. Inalis na siguro nila yun. But what I'm saying is, you can uh, save them in Google Drive na lang. Or pwede nyo yung ilagay sa isang place lang. No? Or yung iba, Behance, yung pinaglalagyan nila. Pwede dito. Okay? So sa Behance.net. Yan, pwede yan. Dito nyo siya pwede upload Pag mga graphics, ah. Pero let's say, for example, gusto nyo naman magkaroon ng, uh, gusto nyo i-document, or gusto nyo, gusto nyo, ang gusto nyo, isa pa palang i-download nyo is loom.us. This is for the portfolio, ah. So, loom.us, uh, ang gagawin niya, pwede kayong gumawa ng video demo ng mga kaya nyong gawin. For example, you wanted to show the client na kaya nyong maglinis ng email. So, pwedeng ilum nyo yon Ibig sabihin, bividiohan nyo yung screen nyo. Tapos, habang ginagawa nyo yun, mabivideo siya. Loom.com ata or something. Sorry. Loom.com pala, not us. Zoom.us pala yung nasa isip ko. But Loom.com. So, itong Loom.com na to, for example, ito. May video ako dito na sinishare ko yung ito. pag nag-load siya. Pero as you can see here yan, may ano ko, may video ko dyan. Parang ganito rin sa street, sa live natin right now. So, pag ganyan, tawag dito, um, makikita nila na kaya mong gawin yung isang bagay. Kahit wala kang experience, mapapatunayan mo sa kanila na kaya mong gawin yung isang bagay. No? Isa siguro na pwede kong i-example si Mami. Ito, si Mami Ivy Sanchez. Itong kanyang uh, site. Ayan. For example, dito, gusto niyang, ayan, pinakita niya kung ano yung mga kaya niyang gawin. So, aside from graphics, meron din siyang iba't iba pang portfolio. So, for example, dito for data scraping, si Dave niya lang sa YouTube, tapos pinakita niya na kung paano niya ginagawa. Okay? So, at least dyan, mapapatunayan niyo kung paano Ito yung mga Canva, ito naman sa MailChimp, and uh, ito sa email support. Uh, kunyari, tawag dito, merong kunyaring nag-send. Hindi nyo naman ilalagay yung details, so malay ba nila kung tunay na client nga yun. Pero at least, with this kind of thread na screenshot na pinakita nyo sa kanila, makikita, niya how, makikita nyo nila how, how you answer questions if it's email support. So just be creative lang in terms of showing the clients kung paano nyo gawin yung mga bagay-bagay. And then, lahat ng mga pinagagawa nyo, ako, 
Others would say na wag magre-receive ng wag tatanggap ng mga free trial, bla 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 kasi sayang oras, bla bla bla. Ako ang ginagawa ko kapag meron na akong mga free trial nung UB ako, ina-accept ko lang sila ng ina-accept. Sabi ko kahit uh, free lang to, kahit papano, may experience ko kung paano gawin, pero hindi ko sinasayang 'yon. Hindi lang 'yun nasa isip ko lang tsaka hindi lang dahil nat- natuto ko nagpapagod ako in all that. Sini save ko lahat ng 'yon. So ini-screenshot ini ko lahat pag halimbawa may free trial ako and then may ginawa ako for a particular person or a client, hinihingian ko either ng testimonya, lahat ng pwede kong hingiin para madagdag sa credibility ko as a freelancer, ginagawa ko siya. Okay, so, ganun. There's a lot of things para ma-make sure nyo na uh, hindi masasayang yung mga ginagawa nyo. And then, ma- mapipresent nyo as part of your portfolio. Okay? Yay! It's 7 o'clock na. We're done. Um, okay. So, I guess we're good. I hope nag-enjoy kayo. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have other questions pa. You can just send me a message or comment in the comment section. I'm okay na. I, I still have to face all of my meetings for tonight. Okay? Yeah, that that's fine. Anything basta gumana siya. Walang problema. Okay? So, I guess we're good. Um, I, I'll just comment kung ano yung instructions on how to get your cover letter, your resume, your profile, uh, sample, and templates, and checklist. Okay. Okay, I guess we're good. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I recommend, sorry, I recommend a one-page. So what you can do is you prepare for both. Uh, sorry, I have I, I have to let you know about this. Ako, what I usually do, as you can see, sobrang kompleto ako. Meron akong one-page na resume, meron akong mahabang resume, meron rin akong video, meron rin akong uh, website. So, kinompleto ko siya, just in case lang humingi yung client ng kung anong gusto niyang hingiin, may mabibigay ako. Lagi lang siya nakaredy. And yes, uh, you can now register for all of the online courses na available starting uh, this month up to July. So, open siya for 3,000 pesos. Before we increase it, I hope you can reserve a slot kasi medyo mabilis maubos yung slot ng mga courses natin. The courses are not required. You don't have to pay for, for anything if hindi nyo afford siya. We have a lot of free webinars na pwede nyo matutunan. And you, you, you can start from there. And then mag-self-study na lang kayo if you cannot afford any of our online courses. Okay? Merong option to leave a review. But don't worry. If you cannot leave a review in the Google... Uh, uh, page, you can also search MK Bertulfo, and then you can leave, just leave a review any in any social media accounts that we have, or even in LinkedIn, if you're having trouble, no? Kasi it's, it's just important, uh, it's important for us to know your thoughts then about it. Okay. Yes, you can create an online jobs that PH and uh, uh, account kahit hindi pa kayo ready to look for an online job. Pero highly recommended na kapag nag-create kayo ng account, syempre maghanap na rin kayo ng job. Kasi sayang rin naman. Okay? So, thank you so much everybody for listening and shutting in. Bye-bye!